Hooray. Okay, yeah, I forgot to give you guys XP for that last combat, so there it is. Yay! And then, yeah, now you guys get to decide which door. Well, let's see. Looks like Nematep's heading down towards this uh, southwest one. So, sure. let's try over here. This is the door we're checking. I will check for traps. And it appears I am afflicted by something. And I'll check for you checking for traps. So, last oh, yeah, I remember, you guys were going to leave and divine or research or try to figure out what's affecting you guys is that now no longer the uh plan now we're checking doors okay uh i'm fine with that. that or we were also debating between just pushing through and being like yep we're just debuffed for this well i my concern now i totally forgot about that but my concern <laughs> at the time was that this was going to progress to get worse now that I see that's not the case, I'm just down to a point or two of intelligence. I can live with that. Whiz yeah, is yeah. down constitution. It's fine. I think it's up to him how he feels about it. No, I'm fine. Like I'm 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 the safest wizard you'd ever you've ever seen. Plus plus plus, even if I die, I have a clone. It's perfect. Hmm. It sounds unnatural. Those cloners. Yeah. So, you gonna okay. open the door, or...? It sounds like, uh... If Nematep says the door is yeah. safe, then I shall open the door. I check for traps on it. And if it's okay, we'll open it. Okay. This hallway seems like a really good place for like a lightning bolt trap to fire through us all. Lightning yeah. bolt formation. You're correct. So perhaps I'll try to detect magic down the hallway. Uh and then move out of the way before Nimitip tries to open the door. <laughs> if... Yeah. Detect uh, magic doesn't always feet, reveal right? magical traps, by the way, but yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Do I detect anything? No, no. All right, then I'm going to move back out of the way because I'm afraid. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back here, guys. <laughs> Whiz pops being Whiz pops. Mm -hmm. I guess. I thought okay. it was a moment ago he was talking about how indestructible he was. Sure, but I don't want to have to use <laughs> those resources if I don't have to. Um, I took con damage, right? Does that yeah. automatically subtract my HP? Uh, no. You have to yes, manually do that yourself. Oh, well, yeah. The game won't okay. do it. You have to do I it. I did not do but that. But it does yeah. mean you have less HP right now. Okay. Because I was like, my number's still high. So mm -hmm. we're level 14, so I basically lose 28 health. Is that right? Or 14. No, it's just 14 health. Okay, I'm going to put in my notes somewhere what my actual health is. Yeah. I need 114 one max here. HP. Um... I think what's funny is I still have two temporary negative levels. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, we could either ask Johnny to look at it now, or I'm good. If you want to wait and see if you collect some more before the end of today, then do it all at the end of the day. Because I, I believe Johnny. I'm, has I'm not concerned up. with two negative levels. I'll just. There's a good chance I'll just which we call it naturally save the next day and get rid of them. But I'm gonna open this door. Just one second, okay. please. Whenever you're ready. I need to figure out something, and I think I'm going to have to pull up the PDF for this information. Um, but you guys open the door, because nothing's going to happen when the door opens. Merry Christmas. Uh... Give me just one minute. I have to f open this up. Did you adjust your health? Yes. Okay. Um... I'm I'm a tough wizard. I have toughness and fourteen con. That's good. Uh... Ah, here it is. Okay. Um... That doesn't tell me what I need to know. I'm sorry. Um, I need to figure this out first before we continue, so. All right, okay. I'll go put my okay. hot water on the stove. Like, I know these things, but I have, like, brain farts a lot. I'm getting old, people. You know, your memory doesn't stay the same the older you get and sometimes you just completely forget something even though you know it very well and then like for the life of you you can't like recall it or find it that's what's happening right now and it's about those negative levels and i'm sure you're gonna want to know about this uh at least i want to know um uh... Wait, why do you guys have those negative levels on you? Well, well because in well, the, the fight, fought, like, like there were these ghosty dudes right? that, yeah, there yeah. were these ghosty dudes that came out of the, some of the ones that we smashed, and they had that energy drain on their yeah. touch attacks. What about whiz pops, though? I don't have negative Didn't levels, get... do I? Oh, you do. No, Everybody, he Raheem levels. does as well. I'm pretty sure that's the thing is, is that you guys what? all have ne oh. negative levels except for uh, um, those who saved. Um, no one told me I had negative levels. Yes, uh, we did. Wisshop says death ward on him. Yeah, I have death ward. I wouldn't have any. Well, yeah, he ignores Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right now. Right, right now, now it ignores the effects. You're right. right. You're right. I do have negative levels. That's why I put death ward on myself. It's, it's the, because it's the it one ignores from it. having the fucking voice in your head or whatever you get the yeah yeah, yeah. It was tied to, no, i remember it was tied now. To the, oh that the right ability penalty and it went away when we left and then it came back when we came back in that is right yep i i put death ward on myself to disable the negative levels for now okay that's why your thing is that but then way. they come back okay yep that's what Sorry, i, I, I forgot out. that 
Well, so you're trying to figure out like why yours is disabled and others aren't. And I, was, I just was not remembering any of that, but okay. Perfect. <laughs> Um, so the, for those who do have negative levels, you have five less HP than normal, um, except for Wisp Pops temporarily because you have that thing uh, turned off. Yeah, and this is only like tens of minutes per level, so it's not going to last a super long time. Yeah. Or it's only one minute per level. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, well, it'll probably run out pretty soon. Mm hmm. Okay. So now that I clarified that situation for you all, yeah, you open up a door and you see um, a strange shaped room. But not only that, you see something um, coming at the door and it doesn't look good. Go ahead and roll initiatives. Is it maybe neutral? <laughs> you guys see a muscular warrior that is carefully sculpted from clay and has a large scarab beetle in place of its head. Wait, does it have a beetle's head? No, 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 no. I hate these descriptions and how they don't change them. Fucking jerks made me say the wrong thing. Thanks a lot, Paizo. This one has a cat Funny head. Enough, it sounded reasonable. Oh, this is a cat head, okay. Alright, what's going on now? You're rolling initiatives. Ah, oh, sweet, yes. Cat headed staff. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Oh, right, I get to roll Johnny. Oh, let me do that. Yay! Okay, I'll set Johnny's character sheet off to the side over there. <laughs> Pull up the party sheet. Are you just gonna park Johnny out of the combat? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. If you guys can handle it. Now, the stupid thing about this encounter is that it doesn't make sense because when you guys enter this building, these things are supposed to go on patrol, but they they can't open doors. There's doors closed. So where are they going to patrol? The room? Like in this room? No, they're supposed to patrol the whole dungeon. But they can't open doors, mm -hmm. so it doesn't make sense. Paizo does not make sense. Maybe the doors magically open for them because they're guardians of the place. It would be nice if Paizo said, The doors will magically open for any of these creatures! So that they can patrol! Well, I mean... <laughs> It doesn't matter if Paizo says it, 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 if you want that to happen. Then... No, I did not want that to happen, which is why you guys are not seeing it. Okay. Here we go. I'm just speaking that Paizo tends to not make sense when they write some of these encounters. Um, Sometimes, yeah. So... I'm just gonna reveal some of the room here. Um, okay. So you see, even though the picture shows a scarab, it's a cat. It's a cat? It's a cat head. You know, oddly enough, that doesn't even look like how I pictured it when you said that it had a beetle for a head. Like, I sort of imagined the beetle sitting on its shoulders and peering forward, but this is like the beetle's standing on its You've seen these legs, before. Bizarre. We have. Yeah. Okay, so round one. Uh, Raz opens the door. Nimitep, you see this uh, thing. It looks like it's marching its way towards the door. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, oh, also, it's holding um, a mace in its hand. I will move here. Okay. This, uh, are you planning on charging it, Raz? Or are you going to let it come to us? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move here then. I'm done. Okay. Must have stepped away. Uh, let's see here. This thing. Yeah, maybe he's making his tea. Since you moved in, Nimita, it's going to start following you. Sounds good. Constructs don't charge, so it just moves its way up to you. Um, and we're going to hit you with a mace, but let me see if I have any special constructiness. Oh, I do. Okay. It's going to be a powerful attack. I need to adjust those numbers. Oh. And it's going to be a vital strike. Not my vittles. And let me just make sure I know what this does. I wish they like gave me a vital strike code, but instead I have to like edit it myself every time. Yep. It sucks. Yeah, whenever I use vital strike, I just set up an extra, a different kind of weapon attack. Ugh. We automatically miss. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, shit, Johnny. Um, does Johnny have any special powers in this situation? Special spells? We have, uh... Well, of course she has special powers. Some spells here. Um, we can... She has special powers for any situation. She just has to use them. We can... A lot of things that do the same thing. Um, um, Raz, do you have strength enhancements already? Um, no, I took those off. Oh, also, I had. Um, I think we need to take that bleed thingy off of me. I I could put on my my necklace real quick just to get that off so you don't have a strength enhancement um, bonus right now i don't i don't have anything that gives me enhancement bonuses no my okay, barbarian Johnny's rage is something different strength. i'll see there we go why hasn't johnny been doing this more often i have no idea but i yeah, assumed you go. had a strength enhancement let me go ahead and uh... I, I actually no hold on that by now you'd have a belt of giant strength as well no no no, no. Yeah. wait that's or right i do i okay. do have that I have that plus okay. six uh, strength okay. and con belt. And con, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Then you we will bless instead. Thing. Bless you. Bless sounds fine. Bless you all. Oh, thank you. 50 foot burst, so that should be all of you. Are you know what? Um, cat's grace would actually be pretty good for me. That would give me like two more AC. Yeah, he doesn't have that. And better reflex saves. With two more AC. Well, you actually have a okay AC. Alright. I do have an okay AC. You all have been blessed. I did not neglect my AC, but it's still like. It doesn't scale super well. It's like. It knocks the low iteratives off the table. Oh. Another statue comes out of the corner and around and makes its way hey, look at to that. Mimitep. 
And it's also going to what vitally kind of head have? strike. Oh yes, this one. That's a good question. This one's head is a... A what? I haven't said it yet. A... Okay. I thought you cut out. No, I was <laughs> trying to open and close all these windows in front of me because there's a ton of them. Um... It is so much easier to go through the book than to use fantasy grounds for this stuff. Uh, a hawk. It is a hawk. Caw -caw! Okay, I don't think hawks make caca sounds, but that's fine. Um... Anyways, uh, yeah, so it's going to strike at Nimitep with a powerful attack and a vital strike. And I miss. But we're not done yet. Because another one makes its way out. And I need to turn this off. There we go. As it double moves. Oh, hey, it, it walked right into melee range of me. That was nice. Yeah, that's. That's as far as it can go, but that's what it does. And it also has a mace. They're heavy maces that they have. What kind of head does this one have? This one actually has a scarab head. Okay. And then, um... Okay, yeah. so... I think the thing that will let me do the most damage is two-handing this heavy flail. So I'm going to pull out my heavy flail. I'm going to quick draw that. I'm going to enter my rage and power attack and all that good stuff. Okay. And I'll full round it. Let's go! I remember the scarab one having a lot of DR, so yeah, we'll see if I can get some crits or something on it. Uh, two hit? Two hits. Okay, now, let's talk. It reduces ten of that damage. I'll mm -hmm. manually adjust that. That's fine. I don't know why the code's not working, but it should be. I thought it was just... Maybe I'm wrong about my code, but yeah. There you go. It might not be applying, like, this specific one's DR. Maybe, yeah. And there's another okay. hit. Uh, well, that one reduced it correctly. Yep, it did. Looks like I got it. Okay. And can I five foot right here? Uh, sure. Okay, then that's what I do. That way some other people can kind of try to get in here. That's my turn. Whisperps! Oh, boy. Yeah... Okay. You can't suffocate statues. Nope. Um. I'll fly. Mm, let's go around here. And I, I don't remember, are these statues resistant to anything other than just having DR? Are they like resistant to energy damage? Roll a knowledge Do we check. know? Uh. Arcana? Mm -hmm. Um, you know that they're golems, so they're resistance to magic, spell resistance. Oh, uh, that's right. They're okay. Golems. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. 
we have a plan that involves a spiked pit. This sure. this is why I brought this in the first place. Uh, Nimitep, your your reflex save is good, right? It's okay. You can climb out of the pit if you fall in, right? Probably. It'll provoke from okay. the thing, but yeah. Hopefully this is okay. Hope, hopefully this isn't awful for you. If it is, then I'll try and save you. I'll let you know after my saving throw how awful it might be. Uh, I mean, is, is this a terrible idea? Like, I, I feel like you this do, is you, I'll be fine. not that bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, I cast I cast my spiked pit. It has a DC twenty three reflex save, mm -hmm. and Nimitep will get a. Actually, no, isn't it at the end of your turn? It's is it now? Yeah, no, nope, it's now. Roll? She needs to roll it now. Well, if you're people people at the edge, I think it's at the end of their turn. Uh, on the initial cast, and if you end your turn in a slope. Uh, I'm just going to go look at the text on Create Pit, because that's where it has it. Uh... Yeah, you're Although I you're guess fine. that would be important for the other one that's standing beside Any creature yeah. standing in the area where you first conjure the pit must make a reflex save to, to jump safely to the nearest open space. Any creature in addition, ending its the turn. edges of a pit are sloped. Any creature ending its turn adjacent to it must make a reflex yeah. save. So I think Nematev's fine. So it's possible we've played it wrong before, but it should be at the end no, of the turn. No, we've been playing it correctly. That's I'm okay, sure. Okay, good. Uh, they both fail. They both fall into the pit. Okay. And put the prone on them. Do your. Let me make sure my depth is right on this. Uh, is it maximum of fifty feet? Yeah. Okay. So they take maximum fall and spiky damage. And they're in the pit. Take that, golems. Uh, it's physical damage, yeah. So they they resist resist some, but. Yep. That's fine. And mit, I don't know. Some of it is fall damage, so they shouldn't resist that. I nope, think. No, they still resist. Dr's dr. I didn't think fall. I thought fall damage was didn't get reduced by well, dr. You're... You, you're, it's your spiked pit. It's the spike damage. Right, but only 2d6 of it is spiked. You do reduce fall damage. With DR. Okay. In that case, then it's fine. Okay. Uh, That's kind of cool. I can make like a DR character and just like take a bunch of fall damage. That's as a fun. player, it's really hard to get DR, so good luck with that. Yeah, I know. Uh, you can do oh, like text stone skin or barbarian. Yeah, spell or barbarians, but it, other than that, it's really hard to get DR and even spell resistance. You have to like also get SR, yeah, shit. yeah, or cast some of that stuff. Yeah, I've I've looked into like how to get it, and there's like yeah. some cheese thing. And the where you numbers get, like, are very high. You caster either. level when you boost your caster level. Yeah, like, there's some cheese to get like 50 SR or something stupid, but it's it's not. Reasonable. I would ban that if you did that. I would be like, no, you're not playing. Yeah, that. yeah, would, <laughs> definitely, definitely. But I was, I was on Reddit one day, just looking like, how, <laughs> how much SR can you get in Pathfinder? I'm, PC, I'm curious. <laughs> you would. Your better bet's probably just like transform that. into something. <laughs> Anyways, like transform well, into a dragon about. or something. Yeah. <laughs> you get a flank here. Actually, um, oh man, form of the dragon. I want to okay. learn that. Does it take its attack rotating on me? Um, yeah, because you're provoking, you have, you're making no efforts to avoid it, then yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if only I had fleeting spell. Pluto. <laughs> oh, looks like I hit. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to attack it back. Um... I missed. 
Oh, I didn't put the flank bonus in. Mm. Oh, well. Uh... I'll be that for my turn. Let me see, which one are you attacking? You're attacking the number three. Which one's number three? <laughs> number three is the Scarab. Yeah, that probably missed. They're all really low. Um, you hit with the flink. Nope, oh, okay. Uh, in that case... It's a little bit of damage. Okay, and as you notice it resists some of your damage. Okay, and that's your whole turn then? Yep. Round two, Nimitap. Okay. You hear some humming in your Thank head, you Nimitep. Oh, what's this? Let me play with it. I sigh and roll my eyes. Um, okay, let me ask questions. This is just a normal attack? Yes. Okay, you hit. And it's a resist some of your damage. Okay. Mwah. And flurry. Oh, okay. Okay, and um, where was the other one? As part of the flurry, I do a foot sweep. Leave it. Uh, oh, cool. I guess that's it. Okay, it's down. And then I pop it step back from the pit. Okay. Yeah, I think the dead one here, when it gets to its turn, it's just gonna slide into the pit. I'm in a pit. I'm in a pit. But that doesn't stop me because I'm a kit. I'm a kit. I'm a kit. That doesn't stop me, because I'm a cat. One of them's cat headed. Okay. So what's it going to do? Like, climb out? Maybe. I mean, I'll still take pokey spike damage, probably. You can't see 50 feet deep down a pit, so you don't know. Okay. You don't know it what it's climbing. doing. It does take a d6 of piercing damage every round they're in contact with the walls. You don't and know. Climb DC is 20 okay, if Johnny they, is going to delay their speed. action. Um, what does this one do? Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Okay, all right, I have a solution. Um, it's just a move action, okay. Wait, what do those look like? I need to pull up a picture really quick just to make sure I know what I'm looking at. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> It flies out of the pit, and its head looks oh, different now. It looks like an ibis, which is a bird with a long beak. Yeah, an ibis. Ibis, okay. Oh. And it's now flying above the pit. Um, actually, it's gonna fly a little yeah, more. Yeah, that makes sense. It's gonna fly over here. 
And that's its entire turn. Um, I guess this one is going to just slide into the pit. Hello. Uh, Raz? Okay, cool. So now I can go attack this one. I'm going to move over here. Uh, I'm assuming that it's within five feet of the ground. Yeah, it's it's in reach, yeah. Okay, I'm going to move over, and I'm going to take an attack on it. I spend my round of rage, and try to smack it with my flail. Okay. Ooh, baby, come on. Oh, it's a one. Ah, maximum damage. Okay. Uh... I'll take it. Is this adamantine? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, let me just check something really quick here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it still reduces the damage. Um, Whiz Pops. Okay. Um. Plan! It kind of worked, yeah. but then it stopped working. So if I cast something like Fireball, it's not going to do any damage, because it's SR, yes. Um, I have a Chains of Light. Which one is flying? Is it one or three? Flying? The one that's not the one in that the flew pit? out of the pit. Oh, I thought the one of the ones in the pit like flew up out of it, but was yeah, still, like, out of there. the pit. It's not in the pit anymore. It flew out of the pit. Right. So number one. I Which one is not said. in the pit? <laughs> number two. Oh. <laughs> the one by Rouse. Okay. okay. I I thought maybe. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm actually and I'm gonna. The one that needs coffee. Oh my god. Well, no, no, I I didn't know if number one was, like, above the pit. Mm. Um, I know that all of these can change their form, so I would expect number one to fly out as Just well. Just their head, but yeah, they their, their head so, seems yeah, to give them special the abilities, change. yeah. I'm going to ready an action to cast a spell if I see number one, if I see one of these guys fly out of the pit. Okay, cool, yeah. And just for everyone's knowledge, that spell is Chains of Light, because it's the only other, like, SR No spell I have. <laughs> and it's my second use of it. And that's all I have. So no more of these statues, please. Okay. Uh, I'll, just, Reem? I'll just move up and help Brastak take this one out. Oh yeah, um, more preaching about Set. And how wonderful he is. Boy, was he wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Boy, was Set the best god ever. If you didn't follow Set, you don't know life. Oh, no. Alright. Is he the god of darkness? He is the god of darkness. He was the edgy Egyptian god. <laughs> he was one letter off from being named Thorns. Seth. Alright, Nimitet. More humming and tinkering sounds that one would make when they're okay. playing with their toys. I zip over here. Oh, yay, I get to attack you. Uh. Hiya! Oh. Okay. Mobility. So I didn't mean to turn your order, but go ahead and take your turn. I'm gonna... how badly hurt is it? It's heavily hurt. No. Yes. Mm. 
I'm going to try this. Ah, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Another oh, one on. flies out of the pit! And the Wiz Pops does his ready to action. Yep. So, right when I see it, I'm gonna cast Chains of Light on it. Okay, and this one changed its head last round, so it's actually going to attack Raz with a flink. Well, it might get. Uh, hit by not if I. God damn it. Ooh, it made it, okay. Not okay, you fine, then do what you want. You ain't um, doing shit. Do anything if it fails. Alright, power attack, vital yep. strike, let's go. Reflex negates, yeah. Hiya! Damn. Ooh, I hit. Statues have a high mm -hmm. reflex save for some reason. Boom. Take that. Okay. And that's my turn. Shawnee was delaying. I'm actually not sure it would have worked anyway. They might have been Shawnee's immune to just, uh, still paralysis. Not sure. What to do? True. Most of Shawnee's spells are not useful in this situation. But we could heal Raz a little. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they're constructs, so channeling won't work on them. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know if we need the channel. Nobody else is hurt but you. I guess Shawnee can just wait till the end of combat. Raz isn't that hurt. Uh, I don't know how to do all this weapon stuff. Is it just a move action to make the scimitar to get all flamey and stuff? I think he's already got it, uh, a flaming property on it. But it's a flaming it's burst action, scimitar. Oh, this, it's just the scimitar. Yeah, so he's just saying that for flavor. Yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. has a plus, he came in with like a plus, which we call it three weapon. Right, yeah. I just, he always, like, says, it bursts into flames and stuff, so I always thought that was, like, a spell-like ability nah, or something. It's just, it's just a normal... It's mostly for flavor. Okay. Um, we're gonna flank this thing and attack it. And it... And it resists most of the damage. Uh, move action. This is going to change its head into a crocodile. And the mace Ooh. grows teeth. Neat. And it's going to vitally strike, uh... Nimitop was hard to hit. Let's try this squishier thing with a flank. I'm gonna try to attack Rad. And I hit! Man, I'm getting successful. Okay, let me edit my dice here. I rolled some ones and twos. <laughs> nice. I figured a <laughs> number of dice rolling there. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> this one's dead. Uh, Raz. I'm gonna start full rounding. I'm gonna go for this one that's already pretty hurt first. Alright, bop that one, switch targets. Alright, it's dead. I've still got a flank. 
So yeah. that's nice. We got a flank conga line going on here. We just need to add... Oh, nope, it's dead. I we do. can't add another one. It's dead. Second iterative, oh, it's a miss. And third attack. Bop. Alright, that's my turn. Okay. Where's Pops? Yeah. <clears throat> I probably should have cast haste on the party, but nah. I feel like you guys have it now. Now you have haste. I only have one more combat. haste today, anyways. Yeah. I think I'm just not doing anything. Um, do Wiz I Pops have anything Pops useful? Thing. Well, I mean, they're golems. Yeah. What do you want from me? Are you they? Get it with your staff. Go up there. And yes, play. they're golems. And <laughs> so they're immune they to have DR. Magic? They're they're immune to magic, and they have DR. There's not like I I have two chains of light that I've used both now. I have. Two, There's only one, one pit left, only. I should have so had more I'm pits, sure but they can fine. fly. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing nothing. I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'll uh, delay. <laughs> okay, there you go. Delay is always a good way. Uh, Raheem. Yeah, just enjoy. Yeah, enjoy do it. Yeah. Being a wizard. Well, I, I love how strong my, our party my is. My wizard in this game. frequently did that, so I don't have to do anything. All right, I'm just gonna pull around this doofus. I think. We need to get you a wand of acid arrow or something. Like he needs wands, like th that would no like a wand of magic no. missile. I don't got nothing to do. Pew pew, you know. There you go. You As, to do. I mean, that's also SR. Yes, I have. I have my staff of okay, magic missile. Throw the whip. Throw the wand at him. It's fine. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I have my staff. It's just every spell I put into it is SR. Yes, because I didn't yeah. think about it. I should have taken the three golem bane scarabs and be well, like, hmm, I probably need more SR no spells. Instead of like pit, he could have glitter dust or yeah, they're because you have glitter and dust. And what's still, that right? gonna do? Well, it's it. No blind. You can, can you blind statues? Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can oh okay with glitter dust? Yes, it's weird. Okay, they I could have done see that. Just like you do. <laughs> um. Okay. So I figured so they had like so. extra. Senses or something. I did. Too. Sometimes they do. If the if the golem creator gave the senses to him, um, creating golems is kind of like a point system. You have so many points, and yeah, you put features into it. Sure. I want to make a golem creator. Um, I really, 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 really do. I just haven't. That sounds fun. Gotten to it yet. <laughs> Uh, but like, spoiler alert, in Rain of Winter you guys run into, um, a book on how to create golems, and so it's like, ooh. And a lab, actually, but, actually there's a couple of games where you find labs. More humming in your head, Nimitep. It's distracting your mental ability. Yes, that's my excuse for missing last round. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Melf's Acid Arrow. Do you guys know why it's called Melf's Acid Arrow? No. <laughs> made by Melf, who's some. It was made guy by Melf. Yeah, he's a but weird. the the guy. He got his name. Yeah, he got his name because when he made the character, he didn't know what to call it. So when he put down the sex, uh, you know, for male, just M, and then race elf, he's just, I'm just going to combine these two, and his name is Melf. Male elf. Nice. <laughs> Trib. Yep, his name is Melf. I didn't know that one. All right, you yep. did it. D&D &D trivia. Okay. Uh, is and you have more movement. I've always wanted to create my own spell. That was grapple. I grappled him. Right, but like you would provoke 
according to your current pathing, so I'm guessing you have more movement than 25 and you wouldn't have went through that provoking square. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Okay. Plus Raheem's in it. There we go. Um, okay, so he's grappled? Is that what you said? Yep. Um, do you have the effect to put on each other? Is this... Uh, oh, maybe? If not, I'll apply it. Uh, I don't have an effect for that. Okay. I am sorry. Cool. Alright, I'll just do that. Should just be in the effects, right? E, F, G. Oh, it's not. Oh. It is. Uh, it's the condition thing. in the... So, the left side conditions are all pre-made effects. And then all the custom ones oh, are the ones left I manually side. created. Oh. Um, okay, I already applied it to you, so let me just take that off. Alright, um... This is the Ibis. Are these maces they're wielding two-handed, or just one-handed mace? Um, I've just been doing the one-hand power attack, but I'm pretty sure they can two-hand yeah, it if they want to. Is there a two They're heavy mace? maces. I don't know. You can two-hand any okay, that's fine. Um, weapon that has a haft. Other than light weapons, like you can't two-hand, uh, you can't two-hand a dagger. Well, yeah, because they're, they're they're too small to hold with two hands, but. Yeah. You can put oh. your hands on a dagger. You'll just cut yourself with one <laughs> yeah, I, I just... For a second there, I wasn't sure if there was like a great mace. You know, the two-handed version of a mace. Like there's uh... a great club. But yeah, okay, no problem. Uh, so he just, if he's going to gra uh, attack, he's just going to take a penalty. Okay, um... Let me see what I want to do here. Try and break the grapple. Self destruct. Everyone takes ten d six or something. Throw himself into the pit, trying to drag me with him. Oh yeah, he's grappled. Hug that statue. You have to reverse the grapple first, but yeah, that's something he could do. To work his way towards. I don't think he's gonna live long enough to pull off that entire plan but okay as a move action its head turns Maybe. into a hippopotamus oh neat does it get a bite attack now unexpected twist and it's gonna try to get out of the grapple and it's gonna get a bonus to do that oh, yes Uh oh I didn't have you targeted. Um does a forty one get out of the grapple? Uh give me one second here. I think I can drag that on you and find out. Because yep. CMD is thirty three, but I get a plus four for having the grapple so No, You do not get the grapple bonus against yeah. grapple attempts. So the grappler and the grapple E don't actually get the bonus when you're attempting to get out of the grapple, <clears throat> per se. It's improved grapple. Does that change that rule? Improved grapple just gives you a bonus to your CMD versus grapple and a bonus to CMB. Like, that's a separate thing. I think the 41 still does it. It'll still it, it, it does, it scary. does. But... The, oh, yeah. the bonus from Improved Grapple applies both to the attack and defense against grapples. Yeah. But he still exceeded my bonus by a huge amount. And it was only plus two, not plus four, so... Yeah, he's free. Unless so he's Hippopotamus grapple. means grapple. Interesting. Not necessarily. Hippopotamus uh, so means he's, couple what, what was his plan? Um, I'm looking up a ruling because I want to show you guys that what you sure. said wasn't right, um, or I'm not right, either way. I want to find it. I mean, I think you might be 
talking about two different things or something. Talking about the grappled condition. A oh, grappled creature grapple takes feet. minus two on attack rolls and combat maneuver checks, except those made to grapple or escape the grapple. So I don't take oh, the penalties to escape it. Yeah, yeah, level we level. were talking about two different things, because we weren't talking about penalties. Oh, well, that's we what talking I was talking about, about so I don't know okay. yeah. what, yeah, maybe I triggered something you guys yeah, That's why we were talking about something. CMD yeah. being different than what the sheet says on Nematep, was right. because Nematep has a situational bonus to CMD, specifically versus grapple. Yeah. Okay. So everybody was correct. We were just all talking about different things. Um. So what I was going to get at at that is that its uh, number would have been 43 because it manually took the minus 2 off because they had the grapple condition. <clears throat> Anyways, oh. um, plus I had the power attack, which it wouldn't have power attacked either, so it would have been even higher. Uh, okay, so it is out of the grapple now. And you got this hippopotamus okay. head here. Its skin perhaps looks a little thicker, maybe? Um, so that was a move action in a standard, so we're, we're out of things we can do. I guess we can five foot step still. A five foot step. Um, Shani will five foot step, and I think he has his full round. Are you sure? Oh, uh, yeah, there's sure a pit five there. Step there. Five foot step here instead yeah. and make it annoying for you guys so that you guys can't move in. And we're gonna full Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All part of the plan. Uh, both miss. This one's dead. This one's dead. Frass? I'm going to smack it. Keep my rage going. Uh, one, oh, two hits. Is Bam. it resisting correctly? It's supposed um, to be it, resisting more than that. It looks like it's resisting that. by. So I'm going to add 10 more health to it. 10 more? Yeah, because you hit it twice. Its DR went up. Okay. Its DR isn't what it was before. Oh, interesting. It is still up, technically. Okay, that's my turn. Yeah, the hippopotamus gives it more DR and bonuses to CMB. Um, whiz pops. Uh, continue to delay. Have fun, have fun, guys. Harry <laughs> Raheem. I kind of like these constructs. They're, uh... I don't. Because I can foil your plan. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just hit it once. Uh, okay. You hit? There you go. Now it's now it's down. Alright, we're out of combat. Yay! That was it. Lots of XP. Yeah. Good thing, because uh, I'm I'll come in the room permanently now. trapped in this square. And probably before the next combat, my death ward will run out because it only lasts 14 minutes, and we've had like uh -huh. a full combat. It. And we'll look around here. I found the one pixel where I can select my token without selecting the other token. So I will begin carefully searching the rooms. What's going on in this place? Yes. What this What is in here? Room. Okay, um, let's take observation first. The golems turn to dust and start to kind of float away. Did they do that last time? No. Or is this Interesting. Amazing? I don't think so. Hmm. They might reform later then. Because that's the kind of effect that the guy up front had, right? The yeah. dinosaur?
Yeah, the dinosaur turned to dust. A dizzying pattern of indecipherable runes and glowing carvings adorn the walls of this oddly shaped chamber. Interspersed among these runes are human-sized carvings of men and women with animal heads in bas reliefs. The angles of this room walls, this room's walls include those where the ceiling rises and falls are all strange and dizzying. Only the floor remains a single flat plane. Who built this place? Actually, we know who built this place. Why was this place built like this? Weird. And Nimitip. Over here, you see these, like, glowing stones above these alcoves, and you also see the dust is starting to, like, congregate in each of these alcoves. Rather rapidly, actually. And, you're, and the longer you stand there and watch, the more you notice that these golems seem to be reconstructing. Hey, it's an XP factory. No. <laughs> That's why they built this place. Well, I'll call Wispops over since this seems to be his kind of thing. Magic steps. You're pretty sure you have I'll less than a minute this. before these things are created. Let's go into rounds. Okay. Everybody I'll roll initiative. Come over. Disable it. Initiative! Alrighty. Go! Hey, look at that. 21 initiative. It's already been two rounds. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I don't know what all Johnny can do for you guys in this situation, but I'll go ahead and roll it. Um, maybe. Maybe there's something. Okay. So a couple of rounds have already passed as you're looking and observing them and they're forming. Um... Shawnee's going to delay their action. Raz, is there anything you'd like to do? So, like, is it clear, like, is it clear to me, the barbarian, that, like, these constructs are reforming? Like, I see, like, their feet, like, being well, made and, like, their legs something. and stuff. But, yeah, you can see their feet and their ankles and their legs and the dust swirling and this blue glow from this stone above it. And it, and it just, yeah, it seems to be... Rapid. Perfect. A blue stone. Mm -hmm. Well, that that that'll get my attention. Can I? I would like to move twenty feet over here, and get within five feet of that um that blue stone. Okay. I'm just gonna start breaking things. Each arch has a blue stone? Okay, I'm gonna move to this middle one then, and I'm going to swing my adamantine flail at the stone. Go for it. So do you want to break or um, damage? I'm going to damage it with my adamantine weapon. Okay. And I guess, yeah, since we're still in rounds, I'll just keep my rage going. I assume that hits the stone. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll hit. It's just a DC5 to hit a spot. Here's my two-hand power attack damage. Um, okay, so it has some hardness, and so it looks like adamantine. it resisted... Adamantine just gets past It might resist adamantine. Adamantine usually... If it has hardness, hardness like more than 20. Yeah, so it depends on how much hardness okay. it has, I you guess. You break it? If it has less than... Okay. And it seems to deactivate, and the dust all just kind of falls to the ground, and it's no longer forming. Oh, the, that was simple. The, and the ankles are still there, though. I thought it was going to be much harder. Alright, cool. Hey, Nimitip? guys, I found out what, de what, what deactivates them. 
Yeah, I think you're the one that has the adamantine flail, so I think you're in charge of smashing Yeah, that all. thing has been like the MVP of this game. And I, I swear. gave it to um, you! <laughs> okay, hold on. Is this something that I can disable? Um... Or US magic device? You don't think you have the knowledge or capability to disable what's happening here. Okay, oh, that's fine. Uh, so it looks like Raz is doing this smashy, smashy thing, and I don't think I can improve on that, to be honest. <laughs> so I will step back and let the experts deal with this. Here we go. Whiz Pops! Um, I'll come over and try and figure out if what they're doing is effective, but if Raz can just hit it with the adamantine flail and that's going to stop it, then I'll just say, yep, keep do keep doing that. And I'll try not to, can I figure out like how long it's going to take them to reform? Less than a minute? Sure, but like... You don't know? Is it going to be like in the next round or two, or will Raz have time? You don't know. Maybe I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll come over here and I'll ready in action. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know their golems. Like, do I think I can damage this stuff rebuilding them, even though they have uh, their golems? No, you don't think you can stop the I mean... process other than destroying the glowing stone that might be making the process. Happen. Right. So, my, I guess my question. Okay. So the glowing stone, like, that doesn't have SR. You don't Probably. <laughs> Whatever, I'll, I'll let Raz do it. I mean, probably, right? Does, does anyone, if I'm just like, hey, Raz, you think you can take I out all these know. on your own? Like, does anyone say no? I mean, I don't, I certainly don't say no. Okay, so now I'll, I'll just uh, ready in action to cast a spell if I see a golem's almost completely formed. Okay. Uh, Raheem? I'll just move up. Uh, I'm gonna activate um, Divine Bond just in case. Uh, just in case I need... Um, yeah, I guess I need to actually smash some golems to increase the enhancement bonus on my weapon. Okie dokie. Is that your turn then? Yeah. Um, Shani. We'll move over here and join you guys, make a T-shaped pattern. And watch Raz. It's all on you, Raz. They're counting on you, boo. Yep. I'm gonna move over here and smash another one. Oh, same, same number. You break that one as well. Alright. I'm gonna come over here next turn. Okay, is anybody going to do anything significant after Raz takes his turn? If not, we will just skip to Raz's turn again next round. Does that yeah, sound fair? I'm just wait. Is everybody okay with that? Sounds fair to me. All right, Raz. Yep, it's good with me. And over here, and same thing. Okay. Uh. What? What? Oh, yeah. I don't think you can critical, but um, it's still a max damage die. So yeah, you break that one as well. That was maximum damage. Nice. You did it. You broke the contraptions. There's no more for me. We can exit turns. Woohoo! Yay! Miss Pops, you hear laughter 
In your head. In my head. Yeah. Uh. It's kind of a whatever. condescending laugh. What's it? Is it kind of like saying you, anything? Uh, nah, he he just he just now spoke up and then laughed at you as a fresh reminder that he's still there. Okay, my my death ward is pretty close to out, like fourteen minutes. It's been 14 minutes-ish, maybe, soon. I mean, I know we've been in combat most of the time, but, yeah. I don't know if that's reducing how much it can affect me, but maybe that's why I start hearing it now. The effects are wearing off. You can believe what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys do? Not much. <laughs> two plus twenty two. I'll look around the room. Oh. Do I find anything Whoa, else? Why are you so holy crap? What yeah, happened? he's so loud now. I don't know what happened. You're really loud, Matt. I don't know what you did, but you're like loud. It's like mic boost. I, I was holding the mic closer to my face and like shielding it with my hand because uh we've got yard work out. In, oh, like okay. near my window, so I don't want you guys to hear the buzzing. Oh, don't worry about that. I that don't hear any background noise right bad. now. I'd rather listen to that than okay. you have a very booming voice. <laughs> yeah, it was it was <laughs> quite loud. <laughs> it was like loud enough that it was distorting, actually. Right, it was rattling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. Uh, so yeah, yeah, what y'all do? I'm just investigating around the room to see if we find anything that we didn't find before. And if not, then I think we've solved this room. We can go to another one. Yeah, it seems weird that they had this room here. Well, it's for making guards. Yeah, I guess maybe if you have, like, somebody comes in here and lets the guards out. But otherwise, Who like, let the guards out? They just sit in here and guard their themselves. Like, it seems weird. Is there well, any loot in this room? I mean, there's a, there's a character in your party that might be able to figure things out, but I haven't heard them attempt, so, yeah. Well, why does this room need to be so weirdly constructed? Does that serve a purpose of any kind? I ask Wispops as I... Yeah, that's, well, that's what I'm trying to wonder, is, like, is there anything else in here besides, like, the gold stuff? Like, is there anything in the corners and stuff like that? No, nope, you don't see items. Okay, I'll detect magic around the room okay. to see if I see anything like that. I don't you know. You don't you don't detect magic. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I assume you mean me when you say someone can figure it out, but like what What's your skill set? Okay. Like, you what want kind me to say, like, can you do? I roll knowledge? Oh, that's an option. But I don't know what I'm trying to knowledge, like the golem building? Or I mean, maybe I've asked you a direct question. How it is? Yeah. I mean, try, do I uh, know why the room is... I mean, you try Arcana. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, Be explorative. Okay, I, mean... I don't want to have to ask you guys to roll knowledges. Like, you yourself can say, oh, do I know anything about this? Um, so that's all I'm seeking. Okay, yeah, I mean, do I know anything about the, the golems in the room, why it might be shaped this way? Yeah, so so you spend some time, you know, thinking about what Nimitep's pointing out, and you're examining the shape. Perhaps you're flying and buzzing around, getting a real good, you know, look at the shape Whizzing of around. the room. Yeah. Um, and you see that the geometry of this shape 
seems to follow a strange magical formula you've seen once before that makes this chamber function, which is basically a, an auto golem repairing, re-repairing system. So even if the golems were destroyed, as long as their remains are within this uh, um, entire dungeon, um, they will come back to these uh, what are called keystones to repair them. Okay, and I'm fairly sure we've completely broken them. They can't work anymore. The keystones themselves, yes. But since this room still exists in okay. the shape that it does, if somebody were to, I don't know, make some new keystones, they would still have the functionality of the room. Huh, okay. They're only broken for now. I mean, a wizard could repair them. Yeah. That's fine. And uh, the type of golems used here are specifically like a clay type golem, so it has to be clay in order for it to work. Wispops could always repurpose okay. this if he wanted to. I, I could make golems, I suppose. <laughs> but I, I don't really have any golem. Uh, ambitions. Um, I guess, yeah, it's, it seems strange to me. I was hoping there'd be something useful I could salvage out of the room, but it sounds like it's just pretty empty. Yeah, no, there's no items, actually. AKA mm. loot, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's move on, guys. The player um, speaks. As long he as no one comes in here to repair it. <laughs> yeah, as long as no one comes in here to repair it, we should be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, how hurt are you, Raz? You kind of hurt? Not too. Oh, oh yeah, you're Johnny you're pretty hurt. Yeah, you maybe hurt. Johnny can can do some heals. Like he's half. Yeah, it's only half. Half ha half is pretty significant, especially with our ability to run straight to the boss. Although I I'm not sure that's gonna happen in this case, but. I mean, my half is still, like, how much compared to some of you guys? It's still the same as me. Your half is me, basically. But... Yeah, I'm fully health Wiz Pops and almost fully health Johnny. Okay. I'm, I'm almost fully health Nimitab. Death Ward now. It's definitely been 14 minutes. And how many negative levels do I have, Secret? Uh, just one. Okay. Um, I can apply that to myself, and it no, should automatically on subtract the HP. No. No and it? no. Oh, okay. It won't adjust your, your uh, HP. Oh, won't? No. Does it automatically it also adjust, doesn't like, my do, and stuff? Uh, it also isn't doing um, initiative adjustment, actually. I, was noticed, I noticed the last time I rolled it. It affects your initiative? Wait, my initiative should be adjusted? Yeah, negative levels lower your initiative. There, That's... There's a reason I complain about negative levels when you get them. They're terrible. Alright, whatever. My initiative is plus one now, instead of plus two. Okay. Yeah, Fantasy Grounds doesn't do that on its own, so... I don't know if I just remember to do it, I guess, but... I guess that's is that is one thing that roll twenty does better is that negative levels it it will adjust your health automatically on roll twenty and and do the initiative adjustment. Okay, so yeah, we want to probably this you have door to, appears you have to, say to negative, be negative levels. not trapped. Did do we heal Raz? But locked. We'll get to that. Just oh my god. Hold on. Okay. So many people. I just want to make sure we don't forget. That's all. Yeah, but okay. Let me heal Raz. Just because I'm, I'm worried. He's not, but I am. Are, are you saying that 
The negative level imposes a penalty to initiative because of the ability check. Yeah, I don't think it does, but he's saying it does, so I don't, I don't know. You because it doesn't expressly that. say, it doesn't expressly call out initiatives. It just says a minus one penalty on all ability yeah. checks. I don't know. I know uh, roll 20 has always done it that way. If you give it's... yourself a negative level on roll 20. Initiative's not And a... then roll it from your character sheet. It, skill it drops it. No, it, well, it might be initiative is based check. off of dexterity. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm saying if it's, if it's basing it off of like that as an ability check, then I I get that. Penalty on all ability checks, attack rolls, combat maneuver checks, combat maneuver checks, saving throws, and skill checks. But if that were the case... Initiative's not an ability it... check, It's and it's not a skill check either. It doesn't actually fall into this category. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like I said, that roll 20 does it that way, so... I assume that they yeah, may be wrong, yeah. But they could just be wrong. It just seems weird because then, like, by that definition, then you would be getting an additional minus one to, like, your attack rolls. Because that's based off of strength. Well, mm, you're not taking a penalty on, like, things that require your strength and whatnot. Roll. It's on ability checks. So if I tell you to roll a strength check, then you take that penalty. But if you roll an That's attack what I'm roll pretty sure with the strength in it, you don't take that penalty. But you do take the penalty for the attack roll itself. Yeah. So I don't think it hinders your initiative whatsoever, according to this. Not... Yeah. That's what I think. I think roll 20 is wrong. That's okay. We're 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 only going back to roll twenty for Pluto's game. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm cool with. Being a player in roll twenty is fine. I actually didn't mind DMing roll twenty. I mean, I didn't mind it either. But the fact that I wanted certain features and it was going to cost me ten dollars a month, and you know how long campaigns go. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. I might as well just play Final Fantasy XIV and screw Pathfinder if I was going to pay that much every month. I mean, I still do. No, screw that game. It was a joke, because I hate it. It's <laughs> a good game. No! It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's super good. Ugh. The story is fantastic right now. Yeah, it only took, like, the latest expansion for it to be somewhat decent. No, it's been it's been really good. I hate the story. It's boring, game. it's lame, it's typical, it's common, it's... There's nothing special about the early story at all. It's really boring. I was bored to death on it, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways... Um, um, it's because initiative checks are ruled as a dexterity check. That's but why it it's works. not a dex. It's a <sighs> no. It's literally the first line of initiative checks here. Is an initiative check is a so, dexterity check. Which it's not an okay, ability. So that, that that's why the fact that that dexterity checks are an ability check. No, yeah. Basically, he found the ruling, and the ruling is okay. It's one of those situations where the ruling isn't in the negative levels. It's in the other. It's thing. in initiative. Yeah, negative level says it affects ability checks, and initiative says it is a dexterity check. It is this a, box, yeah, roll okay. initiative so right that, now. So that's what it. makes sense. Roll it. Uh, okay. Okay, let me go read the ruling. Uh, it's annoying when they do that. When they put, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. You have to cross-reference, like, other things. I mean, I'm okay with the negative is not impacting initiative. That's how we want to rule it, but... Uh, uh, I'm going to still yeah. argue that it By still raw, doesn't apply. 
That's fine. Yeah, I mean, based with, on the ruling. It, though, okay, so, so this is I'm my fine reasoning. With not applying it. Its wording is saying that it's a dexterity check, aka you're using your dexterity to roll it. It does not say it's a dexterity ability check. Therefore, you're rolling an ability check. They're just referencing dexterity as your modifier. So because they don't use the word ability in here, I'm going to say that Fantasy Grounds has it correct. Yeah, that's it's fine. not an ability okay, check, it's fine. just a dexterity base. That's definitely not how check. I would rule it in my game, but it's your game. So, that's fine. So we're just going to let Fantasy Grounds be correct on this one, and we're good. Yeah. Uh, well, Fantasy so Grounds okay doesn't apply it. anything. I think, I think so. the negative levels are already harsh enough as it is, so I'm fine with them not impacting initiative, but yeah. Like, it, does, it, does negative level effect in here affect my, like, to hit? Uh, yeah. Like yeah, automatically. Yeah, yeah, it'll automatically. It's explicitly okay. it just doesn't affect it my HP. Attack rolls. Right, it doesn't know how to. No, do no, the I HP mean like, part. is Fantasy Grounds applying it? Oh yeah, yeah, it'll asking. do it. It'll do it correctly for those. Okay. Yes. It just doesn't do the HP. health for It just for doesn't affect reason. your health. And it doesn't do reason, your spells. I nothing think. does. Con does. Your just seeing your con doesn't affect your. Is health it affecting either, your so. spells? Um, that's the other question: is whether or not it's. It should affect my that. caster level for spells. Right. So. I think it does that automatically. Hopefully. I'll check. Uh... Yeah, it says I'm caster level thirteen. Okay. So yeah, it's and automatically it's applying. Cool. Key. So. We're, oh, right. Nimitep. Um, oh, shit, no. I was supposed to be healing fucking Raz. God damn it. See, this is why I didn't want to do that, because now I'm all like, oh, thank you. lost in the things I'm supposed to be doing. That's okay. I appreciate the healing. I don't know what to do. What do we got? Oh... I can I mean, she can sacrifice any spell for healing. Which one's the critical healing? Is that level 4 or level 3? That's a 4th level. That's a 4th level. Yeah, cure critical is 4th. Uh... Hmm. Let's do the 3D. 3D, what is it? Um... Okay. Uh, 3D8 plus 14. Yep, that's cure serious. Super serious. Um, so I'm afraid because we told him that he can spontaneously convert his spells, he went and removed the cure spells from his spell list. He rem he didn't okay. keep he him there for right. spontaneous there. conversion. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you want me to just roll it myself? Unfortunate. Um, sure, I was going to, um, put it on his spell thing, but it's not made, so we would have to manually roll. Go ahead and roll it, and I'm just gonna get to what I've been trying to get to. Nimita, the door is locked, and it has, um... It was made by those who are dead. It has, uh, a symbol of an Akuman... Um, which, I guess you don't really know what Akamans are, but, um. I can Google it if you need. Roll a skill check, Let's see if we know what it is. No, I mean, I don't think the characters know what they are. Yeah, roll, roll a skill check. Okay. Maybe he does know what it is. From knowledge of, I don't know, history or wow. something. Wow, if, if it's something that I don't recognize, the first thing I'm going to do is turn back to his Yeah, no, it's a humanoid person, what you're looking at. Um, you just don't know, like, it's okay. It's kind of like a group or an organization or a clan or a cult, so to say, an Akaman. Um sure. But it's a mummified-looking person. Um, and... Um, yeah, they look humanoid, but it's all, like, in wrappings and mummified. So that's what you guys are seeing there. Um, so you see a symbol of them with a pair of swords crossed behind a diamond-shaped shield. Uh, this, um, yeah. That's what you see. 
And uh, yeah, the door is locked. Okay. The sword shield's uh, on the door or above it? On the door. It's a picture, okay, I'll right? detect magic at it just to see if it's magical. Okay. Let me open this up here a little bit bigger. And then, Raz, you got your heal. You're good on that. I got a heal. Yep, I'm looking better. Okay, I'll just mark one of his spells as used. Uh, let's use Room of Blindness and Deafness. He's got three of those. He was really prepared for that hallway this time. <laughs> nah. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, so that that's it. Just a door with carving on the door. You don't detect magic, and it doesn't seem to be trapped, but it is locked. Then I will open the lock. Okay. So, DC 36. Um, 36, you said? Yes. Okay, you unlock it. Then I will take one quick moment to listen to the door to see if I can hear anything walking around or moving around behind it, and then I will open it. You do not hear anything walking around or moving around. Okay. Open says me. Really? <laughs> really? Yes, another little tiny door. Same symbol. Okay, I check for traps. This this feels trappish. Thirty nine. You don't think it's trapped, but it does seem to be locked. This is okay. very suspicious. Oh, I will unlock this one. Thirty-five. Seems suspicious, but we're gonna go through it anyway. Assuming Nematep unlocks it. Okay, she unlocks this Which door. I think she will. No problem. No and if problem. Nematep says it's it's all right to open, then I'll I'll open the door. Press, you move up and you open the door. I'm expecting another one. Is it another door? Boy, is it. Same symbol. Hmm. Oh, boy. Same thing. Do we know anything Trapped. about this symbol? Yeah. Is there a knowledge that we could perform with this symbol? Hmm. I agree. I'll move up. Unfortunately, you guys think... You roll all your knowledges in your head, and, um, no, no, nothing's coming to your mind. Well, what would be the significance of having the symbol appear multiple times in these really small little corridors? Um, is this door locked too? Yes. I'll ask Nematep to open this one too, but Raz will muse because he's not he's not dumb. He has a significant amount of wisdom and charisma. <laughs> he, he he thinks like so these doors 
they only do so much to keep people out or or people from like you know that are maybe if someone's already in there but these symbols they're not magical right like we already tried to detect I magic detected on them. magic and i don't think i detected any no no magic so i don't know i wonder and though if they're still like it if it's some kind of like warding symbol or like a warning it because that's the only be like a warning like the big bad bosses behind these doors. Are you sure you want to go through this door? Are you really sure yeah, you want to go through this like door? that's like the only thing that uh, he could like. think of in character. Is that like... No, they haven't, but... that That's what Brass <laughs> thinks that these are. It's like some kind of, like, warning. Or something. Because it's... It's th like this, what we're doing here is... I think it's purposely tedious. <laughs> So whoever made this doesn't want people to go in here. It just doesn't have like a. I mean, not that we've found yet. It's not it doesn't a welcome have mat. Like a booby trap. <laughs> Either that or it's a the test. opposite of a welcome mat. <laughs> yeah. But uh, does Nemotep disable the or unpick the lock? Um, no. Was she successful, I should ask. She was not successful. Oh, wait. I'll attempt the game. Okay. There we go. There we go. Disable it this time. I'll open the door to another door. To the next door. Yes. This is just like a practice run for rogues, I guess? <laughs> Traps, and then the door. I mean, to be fair, if you didn't have a disabled divisor, this would be difficult to deal with. Yeah. You'd be smashing yeah. the doors, I guess, in which they are stones. So <laughs> which would be so that. annoying. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I, they do have I've a... I've never been a big fan of the Atlantean numbers. Key. Yeah. No? Uh, well, see, like... Have you met Tanzan? I would think that in a... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I remember Tanzan. Um, but see, in a situation like this, I think that if you were you going and smashing the doors, it like the way this hallway is set up, they could easily use like the structural integrity of like all these doors to basically become a trap that it would be really hard to detect. Now the if you smash all the doors fall. and they and they were the supports for this corridor, Close yeah, like you could basically maybe. get someone to bury themselves. <laughs> uh, uh, you disable it. Okay, I'll open the door to the next door. Are we good? Do you want to turn back now? Nope. No. No. <laughs> the doors Straight are not the stopping you. <laughs> I'm staying back here. No trap. I'm not going through the doors. The doors are probably all going to like shut, regenerate. You're going to be trapped on that side. It'll be great. Uh, you do not disable it. Maybe. You unlock it. Symbols don't change or anything? No, no, it's the same symbol. Okay, uh, no traps. Do you unlock it? This is, this is actually ridiculous. Who came up with this? I did! I'm just <laughs> waiting for this to end in a blank wall. <laughs> like Probably will. <laughs> it's just a dead That's end. a good idea. That would be That's pretty my... great. <laughs> That's my expectation right now. Thanks for wasting your time. <laughs> oh yeah, um, preaching about set is still happening in Raheem's head. 
Nimitep, he's very interested in all the things you have, but he hasn't seemed to have done anything that you're aware of. Okay. But he's excited! And Wispops, yours is kind of grumpy. Every once in a while you hear him, <laughs> but he ain't really talking to you. Hmm, okay. Uh... You disable it! Yay! When will it end? Uh, no traps. You disable it. I wonder if it's like the same key that opens these doors, or is there just a big giant ring of keys somewhere? Uh, to be fair, you don't see any keyholes. Okay. Right, next door. But you're still somehow able to disable it. I don't know. It's um. Yeah, I was just thinking the yeah. magical rogues. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you disable it. Yeah, this is getting silly. <laughs> I guess it's just trying to bore your rogue to death, bore, bore you guys to death. So that's like. Yeah, we give up. <laughs> this absolutely ends in a dead end. Okay, um... You disable it! This is a little different. Oh, well, different is good. Yeah. However, when the door opens, some sand in the room starts to whirl around and form, and you guys can all roll initiatives as you think you're looking at some yeah, sort neat. of a sand-like creature. I don't know. It's, it's fine. Uh, Fancy Grounds is Lagging? What? Yeah, I was putting things on the combat tracker. Many things. I can't do anything. Many, many things! Oh, maybe? We're back? We're back. Okay. Yay, two! Okay, there's that. I'm gonna zoom into this. Um, I don't think you guys are seeing the same square, so I'm just gonna kind of set you back there. I don't think Johnny's this far back. She'll be up here. Okay. And um. It looks a lot like a sandstorm, I guess you can say, Nimitep, what you're looking at. Um, two of them. Let me reveal your new friends here. Is that everybody? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, you guys didn't do very good. I rolled good. No, yeah, not 20. particularly. I always say never punish, but this time definitely punished. Alright. Um I've kind of always wondered this and I'm not really sure. But I I kinda of think it doesn't work this way, but it would be kind of fun if it did, but um, 
not to alarm you guys, but when dealing with swarms, if a swarm like just passes through your square, they don't harm you, do they? They just they just pass through your square. It's it it deals so basically moving through a square doesn't deal damage. It's when it's just when they stop. And... They deal damage by yeah, by being in a square. Okay. This sandstorm, so to say, swarms past everybody and then stops in, um, well, not everybody, but swarms past and stops on Raz's square. And you're going to just take automatic okay. swarm damage. And since you haven't acted, you can't um, take an attack of opportunity. And I, I don't really mean Correct. to alarm you guys, but yes, the word swarm has been used a couple of times now. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll fortitude. Save. Sand swarm? I don't understand. Yeah, it's a sandstorm. <laughs> sandstorm. Sandstorm swarm? <laughs> yeah. This should be... You know, I was complaining about golems. I mean, at least I can cast spells on swarms, so I'm happy about that. Okay. It's a sand swarm. Oh, but Nimitip, it cool. like passed you by you. No, no, no. Um, the sandstorm passed oh. by you as if like it had n no care for you um, and then okay. started hovering over Raz <laughs> and all the sand is chipping away at him. Um, but you are not nauseated, no distraction for Raz, um, but you do take damage from the sand um, cutting at, like glass at your uh, skin and whatnot. Okay. And for some reason, whoever coded these coded them with two DR. <laughs> I wonder how that's going to work with the... I'm guessing they have more. Uh, they have a change shape, well, and when they change shape, they have the same DR, so they really didn't need to add this in, but... Um... Anyways, it's it's a weird coding. Uh, this one is going to also... It's just going to pass by Unimitap. And it's going to swarm over Johnny. Mm. And Johnny is going to need to roll a distraction save here. <sighs> no. Oh, your wizard's sighing. Well, I can't really sighing? fireball them without hitting the entire team. Uh, Johnny is, oh, conveniently nauseated for it's the really Game Master. Um, boom. How convenient for me. Okay, Johnny's not doing so well from the uh, attacks. Okay, Raz, it's in your square technically. It's a swarm also of sand, so who knows what that means to you. What does that mean to you? Mm. Well, they've they've both moved, so this is this is easy. I just move back over towards over back behind uh, Whiz Pops here if I can occupy this square something. Yeah, I mean as It'll a free squeezing? action, I say get out of there. I'll blast them. So you want to squeeze? Yeah, I'll squeeze. Okay, I'll just pop that on. But here. I just I double move. Okay. And, uh... Do I want to rage right now? Hmm. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it off for now. Would the bless still be on you guys? Oh, I don't think so, right? No. Um, I yeah. think that's only rounds Probably per level. Probably not. It's minutes per level, I but... think you guys went through enough doors. Okay. The amount of time yeah, it takes us to develop time the doors, they would have gone away. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, okay. That too. Let me get that off you guys, then. Okie dokie. Uh, Nimitip. Uh, 
Okay. I mean, you could probably fireball Nematep Square and she'll dodge it. <laughs> mm. You say that. I mean, I guess my DCs are one lower or not? Wait, cast This is a knowledge is planes also for anybody who wants to do it on their turn. Yeah, when I get there. I'm just uh, quickly looking my list of things. Um, because I don't think I have anything that can affect the swarm. As far as you know, it's just sand. Maybe it picks up a, a facial feature or two as it mimics you guys, but it just looks like rolling sand. Like a sandstorm. This is strange. It says I don't have enough spells prepared. Why is that? I mean, it's, I'm not. it doesn't matter now, but I need to figure it out later. What's wrong? Well, you have the negative level, so I don't okay. know how that's affecting all of yeah, that but info. It should be... That doesn't affect... Well, it doesn't affect number of spells, but... Right, but it might be just giving rounds. you info that may not be correct or something. Oh, uh... I could try to throw up a blade barrier, but I don't know if that would uh, make anybody else happy. That's neat. Yeah, that's, that's up to you. Oh, I, what I said is get out of the way so I can hit them, like blast them. That's but that shield's not you're on probably anymore. safe I'm where take you are. It, off you. it, it isn't. Uh, so, is, is Johnny in trouble? Was that Johnny looks like she's hurling a little bit she's a little sick from the the dizziness of the storm maybe she's spinning with it she's like oh, oh, oh. yeah she she has a she failed the fortitude safe so she's got the distracted for one round so she'll only have a move action action but i mean that's probably she'll fine. have a move action though okay yeah um so i heard somebody say Get out of the way, so I'll come back here and get out of the way. Uh, that's it for now. I'll have to invest in a wand of anything that does AoE damage. Johnny's movement's not great, but uh, he'll come up here and squeeze. Uh, Raheem. Uh, set this! Set that! Please set! Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here. So I'll just delay for now. Settle down. <laughs> oh man, Shall I, sh move... I should have tormented Wizpops with this one. Aww, I'll move back further. We would have had a great time. He'll just out pun me. No, I I don't pun at all. <laughs> when I do, they're very very bad. Every time I do, I get punished. Because <laughs> we don't laugh anymore. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're just moving and preparing a circle. Oops. Uh, I'm preparing a circle. Oh, that's your <laughs> circle, okay. <laughs> For a fireball, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, is that it for Raheem right now? Yeah. Okay. It's a swarm, I can't really do much to him. Whisper. Hopefully they don't have high reflex saves. Um, Knowledge Arcana is probably what I should do first. Do I know what these are? Sand, sand swarms. It's planes, actually, isn't it? Planes, yes. Oh, it's planes? Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh. They're probably like elementals, like sand elementals or something. Uh, so you believe these are earth elementals? It's a swarm. It is a living sandstorm. 
okay. Earth Elemental made of sand. Okay. They have it's a sand new one. sight. The player. Um, they can change shape into a humanoid form or a sandstorm form. Right now, they're sandstorm. Um, you think uh, they just have DR, flat DR. Um, and then um, they're elementals, so they have elemental traits. Uh, so you can't, like, critical them. Uh, stuff like that. Um, and because they're in a sand swarm form right now, they are immune to weapon damage. But if they change shapes into a humanoid form, they are a lot more easier to hit and you can damage them more. But that is not their situation right now. Um, you know that they can create sand. They can also make sand pits um, and whatnot, like, and, and cause you guys to... Uh, Take damage and whatnot they can also do like a kind of like a breath weapon um a blast of sand in a cone and do a lot of damage um a couple of things that you know about these that might be concerning is if they do take a humanoid shape they can sunder your stuff oh geez. and they're rather mobile okay uh i assume they fly right they're flying around uh, yeah, they, they fly really good. Um, they can speak many languages, so they are intelligent. Um, and are they immune to acid damage? Uh, they don't seem to have any immunities or resistances to elements. Oh, really? Okay. Um, but they would be immune to, like, poison and turning to stone. Uh, well, I don't know about the stone part. What's the spell? Okay. Uh, prismatic spray. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, the, there's a chance. Uh, they just have elemental traits. Um, but I don't... The, the damage from prismatic spray does not count as AoE because it's like beams flying out at them, so it wouldn't get the right. boost. So I think I'm just going to do an intensified fireball, which unfortunately <laughs> is only going to be 13 dice instead of 14. Because negative wah, levels are wah, fun. Wah. Do I know if they can see invisible invisible things? <clears throat> um, you know that they have tremor sense. Okay, but if I'm flying in invisible, they can't sense me. Haha. <laughs> okay, I'm casting fireball first. Actually, the damage from the prismatic spray is AOE. Oh, is it? Oh, I might try that then. It's later. a cone. Not now though. Well, it, it's it's a cone where rays fly out and hit individual things, I thought, but maybe not. Well, what they're saying is no, it's like multiple rain rainbow rays. colors of rays, not like ray ray spell. Like, I guess, It yeah. doesn't count as a yeah. ray oh, okay, in the okay. purpose of a ray. Because boy would sin to another plane be wonderful, but yeah, that's not very you likely. Could. Good. In fact, when Johnny's not nauseated, she can the... dismiss... Okay, fine, I'll do it. I want to do it. I don't care. How many dismissals does Johnny have? Johnny has... Uh, roll the lottery. Two dismissals. Yeah, so... that's what I want to do. I want to roll the lottery. How do I get rid of this circle? Okay. God damn it. All right, pointers. Remove this. Okay. Pr we're doing prismatic spray. I'm pretty okay. sure Johnny's not in it if I'm aiming diagonal like that. Uh, no, sure Johnny's correct. not the in it. The diagonal from me and then out. So, Cool. Oh god, I unprepared it. That's not what I meant to do. Standard mode. Hit the bouton. Prismatic spray. Uh, cast. They're, they don't have SR. That's good. Now it's the, the happy D8 time. Please, 8. 8 is what we want. So I guess this will be... We'll just do number 1, then number 2. Okay. Uh... Is that good? Uh, six. Insane. Which one is six? I don't think they can be insane. Insanity? No, they totally can. Can they're they? Not immune okay. to mind affecting. Yeah, they're just stolen. Uh, insanity. Yeah, it's will save, will save DC. Right? Uh, Whatever your spell is. Boy, it doesn't say right there, but if I look at. Remember your one caster level. Lowers, Finger of death. So... Subtract one. Well, cast that's already being applied. It should be okay. 27. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and roll. You're not getting your spell focus necromancy to it either. Correct. So. That's why I, I took it the saves. finger of death and subtracted one. Damn it. 
okay, you got that another. That just negates. Thing. All right, other D8 versus the other one. Eight, come on. Damn it. Ooh, that's a good one. I should have done the fireball, but whatever. It does 80 electricity, I believe. Uh, yeah. It yeah. Fails its reflex. Reflex half. So same DC, 20, what did I say, 27? If it fails, it's going to be 120. Uh, it meets. God damn it. Alright, so it takes half. Number, if, if I didn't have that negative rubble, it would have failed. See? <laughs> so it takes 60 then. Uh, it takes half of 80, which is 40, and then yeah, we'll 40 and then 20 again. thingy. Is any of that going to apply automatically? If you have it configured and you're rolling it from the sheet and all that's configured correctly. It... Okay, it's not going to do it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to change this to say 60 and hope it works. It took 60. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, no, it, it Fantasy Grounds does not Fantasy recognize swarms recognize... and AoE yep. spells. Yeah, um, it doesn't do that. I'm going to fly past. away. Um, I want to... God damn it. I, I can't end my token on Raheem Square because then I can't pick it up, but I can fly that far. Okay, you fly around the corner? Yep. All right. <laughs> so I'm scared. <laughs> Round two. God, I should have done the fireball. It could have done like 120 damage to both of them or something. This one swarms right over Johnny. Although I guess the, the thing is it's even a lower save on that fireball. And Johnny takes some damage, yeah. and then Johnny needs to roll for destruction. Johnny fails and is nauseated. <laughs> Again. Still. Uh, didn't, can't she move out or not? Did she not move out? No, it's not her turn right now. It's not her turn. Oh, it's a sandstorm turn. Yeah, sorry, I was in the in the kitchen. Okay, um, this one's going to move, and it's going to move over grass. Pretty sure Johnny's okay. gonna die here. And swarm Rip. over you. Do you have another one of these fireballs? Oh, he's got plenty. I, of oh, I have fireballs. That was a that was a prismatic Go spray, but I have fireballs. Okay. I just need time Ooh, you're to cast them. I don't have a quick one. Not for long. Okay. I'll, although I could spontaneously cast a quick and fireball. All right, Res. I enter a rage as a free action. I think. And my barbarian internal fortitude uh, says no to the nauseated. Boom! No to the nauseated. All right. Yep. I get really angry and I shrug it off, and I'm gonna double move. To be in front of Wisp Pops. Okay. And I tell Wisp Pops to, yeah, like, go go perform more magic on them. Nimita. Okay, so I could do a quicken spontaneous spell as a swift action. Oh. You could. Um, I'm still in a position of having nothing I can do against these swarms, so are we all sort of retreating around this corner? We're kind of basically <laughs> letting Wisp Pops throw AoEs at them. Okay, and yeah, that's Johnny the plan. Is doing what she can to get to us. Johnny has a single move action, right? Yep. Yep. She's gonna okay. basically be able to get into the center of this room that I'm standing in. Like she's got like 20 move speed, speed right? right? Yeah, I probably went back yep. a little bit too far. I oh, have to come back up. I forgot all about this hall. Roll me for a dude's sake. Oh, wait, we're in the blind hall. <laughs> I mean, our characters would probably remember and shut their eyes. Okay, Wisp Pops, I'll, I'll let that happen. Or as that not a, you move okay. in there with your eyes closed? Is that what you're also doing, Nimitep? You're, you're willingly no. moving into that hall with your eyes I'm head? not even moving. Okay, into she's that not going to do that. What about you, Raz? Uh, no, I'm I'm good for this. I'm gonna, It's a okay. supernatural effect, right? So I get yeah. superstition. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, yeah, this was not the hallway to go to. Whoops. Yeah, I completely forgot about it. I was like, oh, wait, oh, yeah. 
Ah. I mean, I, I have life sight. I assume the elementals detect is alive, but maybe not. Uh, let me pull up its DC. They're not like a construct, so it should work. There. Um... Wait, they'll affect You're the safe. elementals if they come in you the hallway you... too, right? Can elementals you be blinded? You have to come in here. Who knows? It, we bait them through the trap. It's perfect. Who knows? Uh, Johnny, not that's, that's Johnny the plan. is going to vomit her way over here. Oh no! Can she move further than that, or is that it? Nope, nope, that's it. That's it. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Wait, can you don't have any spell casting? Oh god, channel nope. doesn't work. You I mean, can heal Johnny, I guess. Can you remove her nauseated? I guess it'll just come back, though. I don't see why uh, channel doesn't I don't work. Think I... again. No, well, it doesn't. It doesn't damage them. I mean, anything that I want to do. I mean, it can damage them, not, just not like, much. So well, I don't think they're evil. No, I right? can't. I actually can't damage them. They're not undead, and that's the only thing I can damage with my channel. Is that how your channel works? That he's positive yeah, energy. Yeah, so. I'm not a negative energy channel. I don't think you can be a negative energy channel with a paladin. I don't. I don't think that's actually allowed. Because you have to be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hold up. Let me read what conditions exactly this gets rid of. Because maybe you uh, ready in action to remove the nauseated or something. So um. When it happens again you yeah like it, i can actually moves. remove i can remove nauseated but the problem is is that johnny's already taking a turn so it's like even if i get rid of the nauseated then you can't right, right. i'm saying like ready that. in action but then you might get nauseated <laughs> I doubt oh it. no yeah yeah i guess probably um, not so that might be the way to go i'll just uh delay for now Okay. Uh, Whiz Pops, your eyes are closed. Yeah, this is where I'm like, I probably went too far back. Okay, I'm gonna instead go like here. Actually, no, wait, not that, not that, not that. I wanna go. God, I guess I'll go here. I hope they don't go for me. Okay. And I'm gonna fireball. Okay. Intensified fireball. 13 d6s. I don't need to draw the circle right. We know I can put yeah, it yeah. Further down where it won't hit everyone. Yeah. Okay, DC 23. Assuming, is this taking into things right? Class DC minus 1. Yeah. Wait, does... It's minus 1 because it's intense. Does, it, does apply metamagic to a spell decrease the DC? Or sorry, increase the DC. Uh, it doesn't. It does not unless it's heightened. Okay, that's why it's minus magic. one. Okay. And it says this is caster level fourteen now. What ha did the negative level get disapplied? What the hell? It does. Yeah. What call it? Okay, for some I reason I'm cast level thirteen on my other stuff, and I'm cast level fourteen on this. That's because you, I, I you never. The... So whenever you level you up, you have to manually general. edit that. Yeah, I might have forgotten. Yeah. God damn it. So it's probably not applying stuff. Did, it might. Just negative roll and we can find out. Negative levels do not affect your DC. No, it's you just lose okay. spell yeah, slots, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. No, you don't lose spell slots. You only lose no. caster okay. numbers for caster levels. Okay, yeah. So like it's 13 D6 instead of 14. Yeah. DC 23. They both fail. Ooh, and I have to manually change this to... Oh, uh, no. I have to change my caster level manually. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just gonna do this. It, if it rolls twelve d six, I'll roll another d six. But I don't. I doubt it's applying automatically. One, two, three, it's four, 13. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, it's not going to 13. change the die that you have put yeah. in there. Yeah. Okay. And then they take an additional fifty percent on top of that. Yeah, so like another fifteen, 15 damage. damage. Yeah, 45 yep. damage. Nice. And then on top of that, I'm going to cast a Quickened Fireball as Ooh. a spontaneous spell uh, for my, my one spontaneous cast a day, which this might be a waste, Was but Was that 15 whatever. to both of them? 
Yeah, so it should be both. an extra 15 to each, yeah. Because they both failed. Uh, actually, I don't need to... I'm not using a fireball slot. I'm using a... Oh, they both saved this time. Dang it. Still some damage. Okay. Uh, they each take 21 like that, like they did, Plus but add more. another 10 on each. Okay. That's that's my one spontaneous spell. Hopefully okay. I don't regret using that. Can I actually take my turn now? Out sure. Of the lane? So I'm going to actually use the Helm of Brilliance at this point. Hey, see? And I'm going to throw What's Fireball as well. Fireballs, baby. It lets you throw fire? Um, I don't remember this item. Yeah. It's got a bunch of cool things on so it. So which one of these does the fucking fireball? Okay, let's see. It's the fire opal, and I have four fire opals, so it's going to change to three fire opals, which I can't Oh, actually... that thing! Yeah, yeah, with the gem. Oh, actually, I it. can. I can unlock this and change it to, say, three. Okay. All right. I think it has prismatic spray, too. So I definitely don't have this configured, but it's going to be a DC 13 for a caster level, thir for a, uh, caster level 13 fireball. So it's only going to do 10d6, because it's not intensified or anything like that. But DC 13, I don't have it configured, but... Okay. Uh, oh. And I'm just going to roll it. Really? Oh, DC's yeah. only 13? It's That's really low. Yeah. yeah. Because it's Damn. the base, the minimum Is required, like reflex? all items do. For... The reflex, yeah, it's just a fireball. They'll probably save, but it's... I'm just surprised yeah. the item doesn't say, like, use your character level as a casting level or something okay, like that. They but... both no, very save, few items do that. So Dang. we do... So they'll take plus they'll take eight. half of this thirty two plus uh so sixteen plus eight more. So um so they each take twenty four twenty four damage. Yep. Okay. Um, one of them dies and is sent back to the plane in which it came from. There you go. But the other still it. exists. Yeah, that's fine. That's why I went ahead and took. I was like, it looks like it's really low, so I might as well see if I can get it. Yeah, the also if stop one of them from taking us damage to us. Typically, items that let you use your caster level require you to be able to cast them in the first place, like staves and stuff like that. Uh, Anybody okay. can wear this helm of br brilliance, so it uses the base caster level. Um, yeah, so there's a slight problem here, guys. Raheem. I have fireball, but I have no other spells that would work against this thing, I think. Raheem, the voice in your oh, head who's been preaching Seti, or Set, um, she kind of, like, gets pissed off all of a sudden when you do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so upset about her being mad. <clears throat> yeah, and roll me a will save. Sure. God bless. Okay. You're... You take a negative level. <laughs> no. You're fine. <laughs> and she seems very angry and frustrated now. Even even more. And she's cursing you to all hell with all all the damned words said. That's a little will save, too. With. Yeah, I got a negative level and penalty to my wisdom, so. You rolled a two. That's as low as it's ever going to get without being an automatic fail. Yeah, so it must be a low DC then. Yep, it's not a very high DC. I am or annoying, yes! And you don't know what it is. But I'm not that strong. <laughs> okay, uh, anyways, so so she's she's very upset. Very, very upset. Uh, this swarm here. Hi, right, Mr. Sandstorm. Become a, a, a thing, a, a human thing again. No. So I can smack you. It's more fun doing this. It's gonna swarm over Johnny. I mean, it just got hit by like three fireballs and it still wants to stay in swarm form? Okay. It's stronger in swarm form. <laughs> It'd be foolish to exit it. It, it is not a death. fool. I mean, no, it's chosen to go back to its plane. Or do its duty. That's what it's chosen to do. 
Uh, Johnny takes some more damage from this, and then um, let's get that good old distraction roll here. Oh, she saves this time. Oh, Raz, you're not squeezing Better. anymore. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> however, yeah. you are in the hall and your um, eyes are open, so fortitude save. Okay. Okay, you're safe. Very. I'm gonna move over here next to his pops. And I'm gonna take a potion out. No, she made it. Okay. She might be able to dismiss it. I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna pull a potion out of my handy haversack as a move action. And that's my turn. Alright, Nimita. I will continue observing. So yeah, I against the golems, action. it was uh, you guys. Against the swarms, it's me. Yeah, see, there you go. Uh, Teamwork makes the dream work. You guys have damaged this fairly well. Do you really want her to, to use a dismissal on it, or do you have a, a little more ammo? I think that's, uh, I mean, how many times she are going to dismiss find it. dismissal she, she should dismiss it. Okay, we'll yeah. try it. If she can, please. All right, so let's like, I have an idea, and... but it's not going to kill it, probably. Now, Johnny has two negative levels, so I don't know if this is going to affect the dismissal, but we'll take a look here. Shouldn't affect DC. Okay. Uh, where's the spell? I don't know, does dismissal have any variable values based on caster level? There is a DC. That's all I know. Hold on. She doesn't have the spell uh, figured, configured. Yeah, so. it shouldn't. It shouldn't actually affect it at all. Okay. Then. Um... We shall do it. She's going to cast Dismissal. And it, Dang it saves. It's just negate, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah. This pops. I, I should have looked this up a second ago. Let me real quick read what this does. Um, sure. Let's let's use this. Why not? Uh, move action. I will pull out a wand of a lightning bolt. We oh, got that go. at some point. And oh, I'm going to. It's the one that we use on the map. Yes. And that I one assume... functions at castle level ten. How many charge. I only had to use like one charge, right? It doesn't have very many charges. I remember it had like, like... seven or something. How many did no it has ten? But how many did I have to use on the map room? Was it just one? Because I probably didn't subtract it. Was one. It. Okay. I'll I i do not remember subtracting it, so I'll just say it has nine charges. And then I'm just gonna shoot a bolt of lightning diagonally down this hallway. And it should hit the sandstorm. Is it just a move action? Kinda weird because I don't know what square he's in. Bag? It is if he has a handy haversack. If he has, yeah, handy I haversack. don't. Yeah, he doesn't. I mean, so... no. If it's in like so my belt pouch, that... is it a standard action? I guess in that, it just depends on if it's in a bag of holding or not. If you don't have it, I think if you don't have it in a bag of holding, it's definitely it's not in a bag action. of holding. Okay, then it's a standard. Yeah, I don't even have a bag of holding, do I? I do, I okay, guess, yeah, but yeah, you're, it's not you're in fine. there. It's just a move action. Yeah, I actually just have it on my sheet, but it should be in my belt pouch. Like all the stuff I need to get to is in my belt pouch. Yeah, yeah no, it's just a move action then. If it was in like a regular bag of holding, then yeah, it's a standard action to get it out. Okay, and I don't have this spell configured, so I'm just going to do it manually. Um, it's 10th caster level, so it'll be 10d6. Can you take wands in a belt pouch? Sure, they're small. Right? They're like I mean, you can have really it on small, his aren't belt, they? Like... Or on my belt. Uh, do we need to get into the He's got somewhere he, like... 
Well, well, yeah, you do get punished for move actions and whatnot, for pulling things out of bags and whatnot. I was just wondering if... Because I've yeah, never I mean, kept things in I'm using a move action. For that reason, so I was just thinking... I just if... assumed that the wand that I use is just tucked on my belt. Yeah, but you have a handy haversack, so even, no matter what, you, well, you would still easily get it out. I mean, is this really something we need to spend this time on? Like... I don't know. It seems kind of silly. Like, I'm spending a move action to get it out of wherever it's at. Is that not reasonable? It's it's not in a bag of holding. <laughs> I don't think he has, would have it somewhere that's hard to get to. Um. So the only reason why I'm asking is because if you didn't have it in a bell pouch and the bell pouch was just a standard you know, move action to pull things out and you can put a wand in there. It's actually a full round action, Whiz Pops, to pull it out of a regular backpack. So yeah, it actually does matter. So that's why I was inquiring. Um... Okay, well, I guess, yeah, I, I don't have it in my backpack on my sheet. I just have it on my character. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll let it slide for now, but I do want to, like, I'm going to go research the belt pouch thing because I'm curious for my own self, and then I can start, like, using and abusing and exploiting that myself because all this time I've never really been, like, putting things in my belt pouch for easy move actions. But then again, I don't really retreat things from my bags very often. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I kind of assumed that I would keep things unusable. like that handy. Yeah. It'd be if it was a full round you, to pull them out. If you had to, well, uh, a bag of holding. The entire game we've been playing. A bag of holding is just a move action. So, like, most. No, I, it's not. Unless it's a handy so, haversack. It right Only here. handy haversacks are move actions. Retrieving a specific item from a bag of holding is a move action. The handy haversack's benefit is that you do not provoke an attack of opportunity for drawing something from it. Is that the only benefit of yeah, it? Yeah, because it's like readily yeah. I thought that that was the whole thing. What, you're not whatever digging item in, you're, just... you're looking for will always be on top. Exactly. And All right, so whether it's in my bag of holding or not, it's still a move action then. So the, I the also only place it could to, possibly uh... be where it, it wouldn't be a move action is if it's in my backpack. I don't it's know why I thought there, that, because so... for some reason I always, I've always... No, uh, you're both understood. correct, but we need to read the full thing. Is retrieving an item from a bag of holding is a move action unless the bag contains more than an ordinary backpack would hold, which in most cases it does, because you're putting shit in there. Okay, yeah. That's why I was thinking that. It's like clutter. Yeah, yeah most, most of the time you if have If you have like more than a regular backpack, then it's a full round action. So it's, Otherwise, yeah. it's a move action. Um, but yeah, so right. we'll go with the belt pouch thing for now, but, um, yeah, uh, so I mean, you, if you, you pull it off. Looking at that makes me, it makes me think that they're implying that pulling it from a regular Retrieving backpack most is things a is action. a move action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cast Lightning Bolt with the wand. <laughs> um, I assume I don't need, like, do I need to do, like, the somatic components with, if I'm using a wand? Nope. No, it's all... Okay, good. Because otherwise I have to do some, like, weird changes. You just stuff, activate the but... wand. Yeah. Yeah, yep. it's okay. just a command word. Okay. Then it's, uh... Oh, boy. This is a third level spell, but it's at 10th cast... How does this work? How do I figure out the DC it's of this? third level. It's going to be DC... It's minimum. It's basically the same as my normal it's be the minimum. third. So it's going to be a DC... Um... Like DC 11. It'll be DC uh, 13, I think. It doesn't add my int? No. No, it doesn't add your int. It's whoever okay. created then, yeah, the wand saves, gets probably. those numbers, which if you don't know who right, made can... it, it's the minimal possible. Can you roll a reflex save and just see if it's over 13 or whatever? It, oh, I assume it will be. It, it will be, but he could roll one. He did not roll a one. He could roll one, yeah. Okay. Then he's going to take 5d6. Yep, he'll take no, 5d6. Plus, plus half. Well, he's say reflex for half. Yeah, but it's that so wand is at caster level 10. So you right, roll the full 10 amount, divided by two. and then okay. it takes half. Okay, yeah, it's okay. not that you roll okay, half. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what's the D6? This one? 10 D6. I think that's right. Okay. Nice. Okay, so it takes 15, 22 damage. Then, okay. Okay. Kaboom. You do some damage to it. It's still in existence. And I would probably move away from everyone. Okay, uh, Raheem? Uh, I guess I could just use another one of the fire old You might be able to kill this thing with your incidental fire damage. Well, from my scimitar, just like swing at yeah. it. Yeah, just swing at it like that. three times. Yeah, it's immune to the it's immune to my weapon damage, but not the fire damage. So, um, yep. yep. And I mean, you we could be magic missileing this thing too. Uh, magic missile wouldn't work against swarms, right? I mean, if you do strike at it, don't target it for the damage. It swarm doesn't mean you can't yeah, target it. It just means it's immune to weapon yeah. damage. All right, we'll just attack it three times. We'll try. It. Oh, I guess that's true. But I, I thought that it uh, was apparently I just missed too tiny to hit with magic missile. That's pretty funny. It's a very mobile. Swarm yeah! Wow, stand. those are bad rolls. <laughs> All right. Well, I I don't kill all of my fire damage. Okay. I guess two, I should have turned power attack off. That would have been four. smart. That might have helped. Um. Uh, no, I'll just. I'll just stay where I am. Maybe he'll come okay. after me and try to beat me up. All right. Round four. You'll be very wrong. It is not going to come after you. It's going to swarm past you and go after Raz. Whoa. Why'd it get so big? All right. It's... <laughs> I don't know, because it, it wanted to. It turned into an actual sandstorm. It turned into its humanoid form. That's just how big it is. I'm I'm down with that. I'll fight that. That's not supposed to happen, but um, okay. Uh, there's exclusive preview of the uh, campaign boss and and boss. It's <laughs> the uh, it's the Sky Pharaoh. Well, I hit like a couple of buttons on my mouse at the same time accidentally, and and then that happened. I think. I don't want to replicate it because that was scary. So, um, okay. So you take some of the swarm damage and fortitude save, Ras. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is a spell like or supernatural ability, but I'll just roll it, and if it is, we'll add it in later. Huh? Oh, well, you save. You're fine. Okay. Distraction? I don't. I think distraction is just. Uh, Those are usually extraordinary, extraordinary, but I'm immune to that anyway. Uh. Yeah. So long as I'm raging, I'm immune to nauseated. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh. It's your turn. I'm gonna keep raging. It's in your square. It is in my square. I would so, if I didn't respect you as much as I do, Raheem, I would so just take the scimitar out of your hands and start flailing the fire <laughs> at it. You don't have a torch? Take, uh, take Johnny's. <laughs> yeah, take Johnny's. I can't do that. I do respect Johnny. <laughs> you just have to figure Let's out, see. make yours fire as well. I do have these fire arrows. Can I do that? Can I take my fire arrows out of the quiver and like use them as like a improvised, improvised weapon? Improvised weapon. I'm 100% certain that does not work. Okay. You're shooting I mean, at you sand. You can use arrows as improvised weapons, but yeah, my I guess. I don't think you're gonna like. But I guess you might not get the fire damage. Is that what you're rolling? Right, right. I don't. I don't then think I'll you're gonna have... hit the sand swarm <laughs> with an arrow. Then I'll you know? just quick draw my my bow and fire it 
at the sandstorm that's in my square. Okay, are you moving or are you? Uh... I will move all um all five foot so I can fall around it. Okay. I'll play my reckless. And I didn't apply this before, but I've I've had like the strength going because I'm raging. I wish that I could like switch the rage things on a whim, but I can't do that yet. I can do that at seventeen. All right, here's three attacks with uh, fire arrows. I get one hit. So I'm just going to roll the d6, because that's all the damage it's, it's going to do to it. Hey, Max. Okay. All right. Yeah, you. Some of the fire burns away, or I don't know, dismantles some of the sand. It not hurts really sure. the sand. Not it's really fire. Sure. It melts it a little bit. It kind of glasses it up a bit. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> uh, so, do elemental attacks or effects on weapons do damage to the swarms? Well, because yeah. it's immune yeah, to weapon damage. Technically, it's just immune to weapon damage. It doesn't say that you can't like actually hit hit it. It it's has why an AC for hitting... a reason, you know. It's why yeah. you can fight a torch or fight with a swarm with a torch when you're like super low level. Like that's one of the yeah. strategies. If that is the case, then I will do this as a swift action. I will imbue my fists with. Electricity. Electricity, there you go, see? And then I will flurry of blows on this. We're at level 14, we can fight swarms. Make contact with as much sand as you can with that fist. There's only two barbarian special. Ooh, nice. There's only two barbarian special not. blades that it's let you uh, do <laughs> significant damage to swarms, too, by the way. Okay, I'm going to have to... Uh, a... I, I don't have an effect set up just for straight, just the d6, so I'm, I'm just going to have to roll that. Don't target it for the damage? Yeah, just roll the Yeah, that's, that's what we've been doing, Nematep is... or Star Fox. <laughs> there's also a enchantment, or uh, yeah, there's a weapon enchantment you can get that lets you do damage to swarms. Well, there's that Scarab Shield. Okay, you do some damage to it. That's a miss. Well, I'm talking about bar like intrinsic barbarian class abilities. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the swarm's armor class is better than 33. What? This is a very mobile, yeah. it's dexterous good. sandstorm. It's moving. Yeah, I hit quickly. on a 36. <laughs> I think because it's okay. unpredictable, like you know, you <clears throat> could potentially like think you're gonna punch it, but it it moved so quickly that. You didn't, you know. Okay. I yeah. hit it once. Yeah, you try and punch it, it like makes a hole in itself for you to punch through. Yeah. Pretty much. And it reforms after. Yeah. Um Johnny could do it with her flaming scimitar. Could, yeah. Let's do that over the last season. Yeah, or she could cast rolls? a spell. Nah. Or she could cast a spell. We'll just we'll just try to strike at it twice. Oh boy. Twenties, please. Nope. Not twenty. Twenty-three. I rolled two tens. Yeah, Johnny's attack bonus. So she down. literally only hits on a twenty. Yeah. Which is what we suspected, but that's fine. Thing's almost dead. I will take care of it. Um, <laughs> I don't want to lightning bolt you guys. Can, can I magic missile this and it'll just it'll hit? Okay, it? so I, I was looking that up and actually you you are correct. 
is that you can't magic missile it because it uh that's what I it's was immune saying, to it's... it's immune to spells that target individual things and the the targeting for magic it's, missile is individual. Yeah. But if you had Snapdragon so fireworks, just... anything that would right. even fit like a five foot square would have. So that's it. an A an AOE would hit it. Yeah, that's why I was saying is that this is one of the swarms where the things are too small to actually hit because the things are like sand. It's like a swarm of yeah, splash you know, works. bees or something. Yeah, yeah I don't splash is what you call it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's let's not talk about all the things I don't have, guys. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm not actually that well equipped for swarms right now. It's been too long. Uh boy. I mean Okay, I'll 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 move up here and I'll lightning bolt in a straight line through it. There you go. That works. I'll use one more charge so now Flaming being... Sphere? Yeah. Yeah. I have a scroll of ball lightning, but that one's actually in my uh bag of holding and whatever. Which maybe That's I a good can get spell. It you should learn it. Yes, I should. I I haven't had downtime to learn spells. I want to also learn Limited Wish, for obvious reasons. That's a good one too. Mm -hmm. I have the the scroll of it. Okay, let's okay. go. Uh, DC. What do we say? Thirteen. It's gonna say. So see if it rolls a one. Um. Oh right. I gotta roll for it. What is this? Reflex. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Reflex. Nope. It saves. That's fine. Ooh, that's a good one. It takes uh, yeah, eighteen really plus nine, twenty-seven. Place. Takes twenty-seven damage. It disappears Although as it gets sent back to it its own save, plane probably. of existence. There you go. So yeah, the thing is, it would have made the save and it would have taken no damage. Because flame sphere is saved. So all the, the reflex half is good. You know what's fun about those yeah. things is they had improved iron will, but I didn't need to use them because they kept saving. <laughs> I mean, the only one was insanity. Twice, uh, that was dismissal. The only will save, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and dismissal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those are kind of cool. Yeah. I like them. Those are kind of tough. I could have done breath weapons do on you and stuff. Channel. But... Like, we've. So far, we've fought like golems and swarms. So, this is not looking that great. That seems pretty typical. Yeah, it's. Kind of We've been fighting golems and swarms. Well, I'm, I'm, for like I'm wanting some more thing. undead. Although, I don't know. I'm I'm starting to get low on spells. But if it's something I can like cast disintegrate on or innervation on, great. If it's stuff you can attack with your weapons, great. But yeah, mm -hmm. disintegrate not so good against golems when they just fizzle the spell. Even though I think Disintegrate should work on Golems. But whatever. They're immune to magic. That, that's just, so stupid. You they disintegrate immune to magic. the ground no. beneath the Golem. And then you put it in a pit. I, that's called a level 2 spell. Create pit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, trans, but, but Disintegrate transmutes anything else into dust. Oh, oh! I just realized. I just realized. I don't have enough spells prepared because I left open spell slots on purpose. Dang. I think I'd like to take this time to prepare some spells if I can spend like 10, 15 minutes or whatever it is. Where do you want to do that at? Uh, with the party, wherever we're at. <laughs> is that okay? Like, are you guys okay waiting for me to do that? Like 10, 15 minutes while sure. I get... Sure. Because I, I want mean, to have a couple more spells that are good so against... Some more time to spend with... Yeah, this is more time to spend with the uh, doofer voices in your head talking to you. That's true. Actually, I probably wouldn't even be able to concentrate enough to do it. <laughs> so I'm not even going to bother. That's okay, fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, mechanically, there's probably nothing that says that, but from a roleplay perspective, I like the idea that this thing's ta talking in my head and I can't concentrate. Oh, yeah, no, you were going to, you totally were going to roll concentration checks. But I had faith that you'd probably like okay. make most of them anyways. But oh, I'd probably make them. But I I like the idea of just not even trying. <laughs> okay. 
Hope, hopefully I don't regret that, but I like that flavor. Yeah, well, I mean, you still have the spell slots, so, you know, if you guys still need them, it's, it's, it's there. Yeah, I, I can still spontaneously convert those slots into heal spells to damage undead. There you go. Hey. There's bound to be undead I'm never going here. to touch an undead. <laughs> I'm never going to touch an undead uh, in in melee. Never. It's too scary. Yeah, that's that's also the problem. Wispops is a little scared. He's old. Although, if, he if they only die. do like negative energy damage, I could <laughs> because I could just death ward myself and then be like, "Yes, touch me, touch me, touch me." <laughs> all right, what are we oh, doing then. in here? <laughs> what are you? Yeah, you're yeah. looking at all these stores. Oh, um. It's a good question. Yeah, what, this room seems what's tight. Going on in here? Um, this oddly shaped room is empty save for a thick Welcome layer of room. sand on the floor, which is mostly gone now. Uh, its surface rippled as if by wind, although the air in here is still and cool. Six doors line the walls, each of which bears a full-size bass base bass base base relief. It's base, right? I don't know why I always say bass when I see that. Yeah, base for Those letters, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe it's because fishing is a thing here, and I don't even hear it a lot. Um, okay. Base relief. Showing a man or woman in a commanding pose. And um, we can go over what each one looks like, or you can tell me if you want to do something else. I will examine the doors. For traps and admire the architecture as well. Yep, and I will also detect magic on the doors. I want to actually move into the room for once and take a look around before we start just opening doors. You instantly die! <laughs> uh, I become my clone. It's not ready yet. Your clone will In be ready. Um, God, we got a ways to go. Like three weeks, four weeks still to go. Four weeks. You still got four weeks to go. Oh, that's shorter than I thought. Okay. It's marked on the calendar. I don't know if you guys can see. It. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I, I think I or you. No, that's Layla's birthday. There. Shit. Where's your clone? Yeah, I thought it was closer to like three months. Was it a long time? It's a long time. It's like D4 months or something. Well, we marked it somewhere. I guess when we get there, it'll, it'll happen. But, um, okay. Anywho, uh, so, okay. Examining, detecting magic, all that fun stuff. Um, these six doors seem to bar entrance to other chambers. And, um... I'll look at the pictures on each. I need to refresh my memory of what they're referencing. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, yes. You recognize that um, these carvings on these doors show the same people that you saw as statues in the other chamber, center chamber. And with pops, oh, you do detect magic on all six doors, and for some reason I think they say something. They may or may not. Hold on. Um, yeah, you detect magic with pops on on each door, and um, and then yeah, do you want a um, description of each door's uh, appearance? Yeah, <laughs> there sure. is the um, maybe these matter, maybe they don't. I'll let you guys decide here. I'll get 
a little tool out. That's going to help you. We're going to do A, B, C, Ds. Okay. So we're going to talk about door A. Door A looks a lot like the statue <clears throat> that uh, is affecting Rahim. Mm -hmm. The, um, the, uh, oh shit, do I have to pull up their, uh, descriptions? She looks a lot like a petite woman that has shaved head and in clad in robes and a pictorial necklace that indicates her high standing in the church of Set. So the carving in door A, that's what that looks like. Um... You guys are so quiet. I don't, I don't know if you want to talk about it or you just want me to roll through it really fast or what? Uh, I was just waiting for you to go on. I, I guess I didn't have anything to say on that. Okay. Well, it sounded like you were giving um, more of a description. Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't sure. I mean, out of character, I was wondering, wait, like, he recognizes this thing from something on Rahim? No, all the statues in this room over here? No, it's the statues out here. Oh. Because you said something like on Rahim, and I was like, wait, how does he know what? <laughs> yeah, that's the statue that's talking to Rahim is the set priestess lady. Yep. Okay. That's that, what he's And there's a statue, least, yeah. and now there's the same thing here. Mm -hmm. I was and, wondering and these how are... we were, like, connecting things. Yeah. Are, are these, like, drawings or paintings or, Carvings like, sculptures on the doors in here? Car stone Carvings, doors, okay. Carvings. Really... Yeah. I wonder... I wonder if Raheem needs to go into the one that is talking to him. Like, and everyone needs to go into the right one. I, I, we should I don't split the party. People walking into it. I think what no, is causing it is behind the door. Um, B Probably. I, I wonder a, if this is a way to get rid of it. A beautiful and talented singer looking person. They, they look like they're in a flowing robes and um, carries a curved dagger in one hand. And they look like they're singing. And then C will be... Um, an elderly Assyrian man in clad in regal finery. A man with deep wrinkles in his face and a glint of cruelty honed by age in his eyes. He looks kind of like a wizard of sorts, perhaps. And then... I'm going to get two different things and get you guys a, a letter D here. Um, D looks like a squat, ugly man with short arms and legs, built like a wall. This bearded soldier um, appears to be um, in a stance of like a protection, a protecting type of stance. And then. Oh, you guys can't see that one very well. So that soldier is definitely the one talking to me, I'd say. <laughs> you think so? The guy talking to me kept being, kept being like, why are you not wearing any armor or using any real weapons? You're weak. That, that <laughs> sounds like this guy. But we'll see. Um, and then E is a woman who's wearing imposing steel limar, limlar armor and wields a brutal-looking Kopesh sword. And is standing in oh, wait, a could be battle her too. ready pose. <laughs> wait, was the voice talk to me female or male, or do do I know? Eh, it sounds male, but that that could mean that okay, could mean okay. shit in the world of magic. But <laughs> um, and then the last one is a tall and thin um individual that is holding a longbow in one hand. 
and gazes alertedly towards an unknown target. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's try out door A. I'll check that for traps before I open it. Um, as you remember, the door and does before we do magic. anything, I detected magic. So yeah, let me try yeah. and figure that out first. Sure. Um, can I concentrate? Figure out school. Uh, button. That one. I, are all all the doors are detecting his magic, right? Yes. Okay, I'll start with A. A seems like a good place to start. What are you, what are you doing? You're going to knowledge or I want to school. identify the school. Okay. Yes. Um, give me a second because that will require me to figure that out. Uh... I'm just trying to create work for you. Don't worry. It's fine. I'm fine. Uh... What did they say? This gives me more time to do my dishes. Why are you doing dishes right now? <laughs> because I, I hate doing dishes, but dishes is something that I can usually do during D&D &D when we're just talking, when I don't need to be at my computer. So it's just kind of become a habit that I do my... Like, I don't do dishes often. I do them like once a week. So I do them typically I find like it when we're doing a baffling game. that <laughs> you would... Rather do dishes than sit at the game. Sit at the game. Well, I, 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 I be done, it needs it's something that uh, needs to be done. It's something I can multitask. Yeah, can't you? Whereas put, I can't multitask can't, when I'm playing can't like League of Legends. Can you put away time to do this that? Is more efficient. Like a normal person. Efficiency. That's right. This this is more efficient. But now your game is becoming less efficient. No, it's not. It's it's very rarely that. Me doing dishes affects it. like if anything like a few seconds of time to walk to the computer. I opened the door. Anyway, uh, yeah. No, oh no. no. I'm still trying to find information <laughs> and let's let's not jump okay. to now. Um, yeah, but it's like trying to figure out this the what the door is, what the magic is on it. Yeah, they there seems to be conflicting information okay here's what i was looking for um, i mean it's not like a huge deal to me i'm just trying to get information well I mean, but it doesn't really matter i need to know this information so it's a huge deal to me yeah uh let me get this open i'm prepared for all these questions you guys are going to ask me okay um this door you learn that it is a school of I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I just want to double check. Necromancy! And it's so. Uh... Wait, what's the rule of detect magic? Let me check. I wish I, I should just make like a detect magic cheat sheet somewhere. Just the chart. That's all I need. Um. This is a moderate aura. Hmm. Singular okay, so on the door. Fairly strong. Um, I'll warn the party and tell them, like, there's some kind of necromatic magic on this. Um, and then I... <sighs> Am I going to activate it if I try and identify it? Do I think it's a trap, or do I think it's something else? Or do I know? You don't know. Nimitep, do you see any traps on this door? You don't think the door itself is magical, so you don't think you can just touch the door and identify this. Oh. Where do I think the magic is, then? It's about the door? <laughs> Around? Well... <laughs> I don't understand. So I can't identify it? No, you don't think it's an item to identify. 
You think this is a spell in place. But then it's a knowledge arcana to determine spell in place. Um, then you can try, I guess. Let me pull up that DC, because it should technically be harder. Oh, I rolled bad. So, I don't know, maybe, hopefully I get it, but I don't know, maybe I can try another door and figure out what it has. Uh, oh, you, you think there's a glyph on this door? A glyph? Yeah. A necromatic glyph. That can be kind of bad. This is a greer it's... glyph of warding. Or wait, oh, do you identify this then? Shit. Maybe I gave you too much information. Fuck you. Uh, well, <laughs> I can identify another door. And see if it's the same thing. If that helps. Let me just pull up the greater glyph. Um, yeah, yeah, you identify. It's a greater glyph of warding. Oh, okay. Which could be many things. Um, no, it's not a warding. It's just a greater glyph. Uh, this one is of... Uh, God damn it. I have, like, all this information is in different places, so I have to, like, try to remember which window, which window do I need to click on to get the right information that I'm trying to look fucking looking for, because, god damn it, they didn't want to make it easy for me. What does this mean? I guess Greater Glyph of Wardings can have different effects? They sure can. Okay, then yeah, that's all you know, is it's a Greater Glyph of Warding. Okay. Is that disarmable? Glyphs, no. Glyphs are not disableable through rogue okay. talents. Fair enough. But they're dispellable. Good. Go ahead with spot um... spell magic. <laughs> Uh oh wait. Oh. I'll detect magic on another door. How about door B? Does it have the same thing going on? Uh... Oh boy. I I did school and then spell in place. Oh okay, that's why you rolled twice. Uh because if I know school and it's also like necromancy, then yeah. Um, so I assume that Glyph has a necromatic spell attached to it that's going to like trigger or something. That's how Glyphs work, right? You step on them or walk into them and they trigger. Yeah, it varies. It varies from Glyph to Glyph. I think, I think it was Pops would... Oh, it this does it? one I thought that's how that works. a... Illusion. A moderate illusion. Oh good, um, they're all different. I'll warn the party, I, there uh, are magic spells placed on these doors and I can't figure out what they are. I, I don't want to be a party pooper for the GM, but glyphs are magical traps and they do have disabled devices. They can be DC. disabled. Uh, that's not what I read, so unless you can display that, um... Yeah, it's fine. Um, does anybody have a dispel magic? Oh, wait, glyphs are actually. What was ah. it that that I wasn't? What are not? Not glyphs. Something symbols. else. Symbols. 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 Okay. Yes, you are correct. Glyphs are. Symbols are not. Okay. Yes, these are dis okay. <laughs> disableable um, through rogue oh, magic. God. Disable talent. I'm gonna step back. Have fun, Nimitep. <laughs> um. If you need any further help, let me know, but I this bet there's glyphs on all these doors in their different schools. Have good luck with that. Best of luck to you, sir. Um, I'll be back here. What, what happened letter. to your bravery that you were espousing just, like, half an hour ago? Oh. 
Well, I am brave. And he's not worried because he's got <laughs> he's a backup plan if something should go wrong. His backup I... plan is to back up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's that's what I did. Back up. Okay. I'll get to work. <laughs> Okay, which one are um, you going to do? I, I, I was brave and identified <laughs> hey. the spells in the room. I mean, I can do the other ones if you want. Um, as long as it's not higher than 33, I don't set it off. Oh, is that? Okay, um... <laughs> It's like zoning off there for a second. Uh, you do not disable it, but you don't set it off. Okay. Are you opening number two? Is that where you're at? Or B? A. 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 Okay. Let me just put you there for good old fashioned memory. Okay. Okay. That's better. Uh, you disable the glyph. Because it is a glyph, not a symbol. <laughs> I scratched the right line. Okay. And then we'll open the door and see what's inside. Cool. Let me reveal for y'all. Um, I don't think this room is lit. I'm pretty sure it's not lit. It's dark in there. Um, we do have some light sources. Um, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. Wispops has one at least. Yes, I, I am back here. If you would like me to give you light, I can come up there and cast the light spell on you um actually i think i have a gem of brightness somewhere on me don't i yes i'll take out my gem of brightness then and light it up i i will cast light on my staff then so it's giving off light for when i get in there and then i will peek down the hallway Okay, um, it looks perhaps like a crypt. Okay, I will sneak in looking for traps and peeking down the way. It's kind of hard to sneak when you have a gem of brightness, but I'll try anyway. Okay. You sneak up and look in, and it still looks like a crypt of uh, okay. just a single um, sarcophagus. And you look upon awesome. the walls, and the walls of this room are decorated with images of the <clears throat> same indi individual you saw on the door sacrificing slaves to what could only be set um which appears to be conjuring up strange shadowy monsters and performing vile ceremonies to the lord of the dark desert okay is there a sarcophagus in this room mm-hmm then I will check that for traps. Okay. I have this feeling we're about to fight mummies in Mummy's Mask. I mean, you're going to have to be more in the room to do that, so I'll just put you there. Um, okay. Sure. You, yeah, I, I would come up You don't here. think there are traps? 
then I will uh, wave Raz forward and prepare to open the sarcophagus. Oh boy! I will, I will enter. I'm, I'm the door checker. It doesn't matter if the door is like, like horizontal to the ground. The sarcophagus lid is a door, so I'm gonna open it. Uh, okay. I guess I don't really have much to prepare, anyways. I can ready an action to cast haste if we want that, but there's so many of these things. Oh my god. So many of what things? There's so many rooms. If each one has like a mummy and a sarcophagus, it's gonna take so much, so many resources to kill them. Oh. <laughs> Well, okay. Like my, as far as I know, are already low and if going it's down, we'll a mummy, I think me and Eamon Hip could handle it. Just us two. Yeah. Okay. It could be I something have, like, special. Some magic missile or something. So you're opening the sarcophagus? I can tell you what it is. Well, yes, as Nematep yeah, well, has like asked me to. I, I'll open it. I want to move up a little bit before then, just so I can get a good look at it when it if it if something's in there. I assume something's in there. Okay. Um, you open the sarcophagus, and Nimitep, you look in, and you see a well-preserved, non-animated mummy um, that wow. is wearing an exquisite funerary mask. Is that magical? Oh boy. This, this is the biggest bait trap I've ever seen. I'm gonna move in and detect magic on the sarcophagus. Well, the we, we don't know unless we find the trap. Yeah, let me check it out first, guys, please. What it's else all Schrodinger's you... cat right now. What else? What Charging is... battery. What are, what are other people doing while. or if at all? Oh god, that means something's about to happen in like a round or two. Not necessarily, but okay. I don't see anything alarming, but I'm just keeping my like I'm 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 keeping my perception going to see if I see any kind of danger. Okay. Uh Raheem, anything you're doing specifically? No. You're just standing in the hallway, just right? Holding there. my sword. Okay. Yep. You're not looking at anything, through. you're not looking anywhere. And just staying on uh, on alert. Okay. Oh, and Maybe she's glancing over my shoulder to make sure nothing's coming behind us. Okay, she's uh she's continuing to talk about set. Blah 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 blah. Um, Miss Pops, you don't detect magic. Okay, I'll tell them I don't detect magic on this mask. Can I appraise the mask? Or do I have to hold it to do that? Oh, yeah, you can appraise it. You don't have to hold it. I mean, yeah. I'd like to judge its value. Sure. Um, do you want me to roll it? I mean, I think I ought to succeed if it's DC 20. Yeah, uh, it's about 1,000 gold pieces. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's pretty darn nice. Then I will carefully remove it. My whiz pop senses are tingling. Okay. Did you detect for traps on it first? Yes. Okay. You remove the mask, and it's now in your hands. Did the voices stop for the person that was being afflicted? No. She's still going on about set. Oh. Set this, set that. Do I know anything about, like... Are, are these mummy not mummies but like sarcophagus i guess they are mummies they're just not animated are they somehow related to these voices they seem like they're related is there a knowledge check or something like maybe i would know more about this um you can go through all of your knowledges and you're you're not sure okay it's like my my Instances are tingling that we need to do more than just steal a thousand gold mask. 
Um, does anybody have any of the, any holy water to spare that we might be able to consecrate the body or something like that? Does Johnny maybe? I mean, I have holy water because I bought a bunch of holy water. For I, yeah, I've got three flasks of holy water. Yeah, bought a bunch of holy water because we knew we needed it for the uh, the other thing. Okay, uh, let's use one of those. I'll I'll take it. And I will perform an ancient rite to place the corpse at rest. As I would if I was interring a corpse in the old... Um, what did you place. say, Pluto, earlier? Uh, I had holy water. Oh, you gave it to... Okay. Uh... Okay, uh... I was just saying we had a bunch of holy water for the other thing we needed it for. For like the statues or whatever. Yeah, Raheem, in your head, in ancient Osirian, she um, she continues to go on about Set, and but then she kind of like starts laughing about like um, you handing holy water over to Nimitap, and uh, she says, <laughs> but "That's not gonna do anything for you." All right. Do it anyway. I hand over the whole oh, yeah, anyway, I wasn't you know. going to stop, yeah. In fact, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't yeah, hear that. that that's what someone who was about to be destroyed by holy water would say. Okay. Does anything change? Nope. She's laughing now in his head. Well, Raz, sure you can, can try with. and destroy the body. I don't know how that that sounds kind of rude, but does this thing detect as evil, Raheem? Uh, Actually, I don't know. Can't does you it? see if it's undead with your life sight? Uh, I can. I'll I'll use one round of life sight to see if it's undead. So if it's either alive or undead, I would be able to detect that. And that would put me at eight rounds left for the day. <laughs> wait, wait, do I get one fewer rounds per day because of negative level? Maybe I'm only at seven. You don't. You have the same amount of rounds per day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, though. Like, once again, I feel like we're in this situation where we're not really given any information. May, I mean, maybe we're not supposed to do anything. Maybe this is literally just, like, coincidentally here to waste our time. Like, the 50 doors. Like, why, why are each of the doors there? Okay. Well, mm, who knows? Um, there's probably some reason. I guess we should just check the others, then. There's 10 doors in the hallway and 6 doors in here. So it doesn't even add up. It's not like there's one door for each of the pharaoh or mummy people. Yeah, I guess I guess we move on and just go to all of them. But I did did it detect as alive, undead, or evil? Nope. So we we detect nothing, and it's no magic. So it's literally just a body. It's just a tomb. Okay. Yep. I would say... Uh, I don't know. I wish I had a way to like detect if this thing came to life, because I feel like it's going to. Okay. You take I the mask? What do you do with the mask? And the twist pops and say, try it on? <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't want it on. I don't want to try it. I know, I know. I was just joking. Hold it. You can put it back too. I don't know. The mask, oh, the, like I'm, I'm imagining like we collect all the masks, they fuse together into the Sky Pharaoh's ib or something. Like that's that's my transformer logic. Collect them all, then they transform together. 
<laughs> I don't know. This so... this is weird. There, it's maybe the game's literally just giving us a bunch of doors and a bunch of random masks, and they mean I mean, nothing. There could be maybe the oh, masks. That's... Need oh, to it be means something. <laughs> you just. The stars just haven't yeah, aligned, but... you know? <laughs> the stars have to... I, maybe I mean, maybe all the other we have to do this in a certain... to give the mask to the person that was actually afflicted by this person. But you that's could. a long shot, and to be honest, I don't really see anything that would lead me to believe that would be the case. No, uh, but... maybe it's something you need to take the masks over the other side of the facility like maybe the, there's something put, over there put them wait can you put the mask the on the door or on the so statue we the yeah statues. we destroyed the statues we what did else? destroy the statue. what about on the carving on the door would the mask fit on that are they about the same size i'm sorry what but there's more the i would say masks. put the mask on the statue but some of them are destroyed yeah they're mostly all, all of them are destroyed, destroyed yeah Oh, yeah, Does all, the mask fit onto the door carving? Is this a door that matches um, someone who has voices? A was the set priestess, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so you is could... there any reason for this? Give it to Raheem. Not to give it to Raheem. Just try it. Wait, what do you want me like, to do with the mask? I don't. No, just hold it. Or you can try putting it on, but that's gross because it was just on a dead corpse. I guess it was wrapped though in mummy wrappings. So let's. What are you doing? Give Give the mask to Raheem and see if anything happens. You should bluff the thing that the spirit that's talking to you. Tell it that you have its mask and see what it says, Raheem. I mean, it can see. Well, True. does Raheem look upon the mask? Because I've yet to hear that actually happen. I mean, if I get handed the mask, sure, I'm looking at the mask. Is that what happens? You guys hand him the mask? Yeah? Okay. Um, I yeah, turn yes, it over do that. a couple times. Raheem, you hear in your voice... Keep that cursed mask away from me! And I need you to roll a will save. Okay. Yay! That's pretty good. Hopefully he saves. You can feel this, like, power of personality just start coming upon you, but... Oh no. You will it away, and you can pretty much do what you want. Uh, I'll try holding the mask up to my face. No! No! Keep that away! Keep it away! Uh, Raheem, what are you doing? Is, are, are you okay? You're, are you gonna put the mask on? Is that what, what you're I doing? Guess. I'm holding it up to my face. I'm holding it up on my on my face. So it yeah, no, I'm asking you because like we hand you the mask and then you hold it up to your face. It's like uh, what's yeah, happening, that's Raheem? That's what I mean. That's I'm putting it on. Basically, you put the mask on. Okay. Um. All of a sudden, you hear like I am ready to cast a spell on her name. and she just kind of goes away. Okay, I'll take the mask Silence. back off. Say that. Say that feels much uh, calmer in my head now. But oh, not cool. only that, who, Raheem, who is the one your negative level God. goes away, your wisdom comes back. Yay. Raheem, who, who is the best uh, God deity? I mean, that's kind of a loaded question. <laughs> I will... Who, who is the deity that you love most? You if you answer this. But obviously, I uh, follow Saren Ray. Okay. I'm just making sure you don't say set or something. Because maybe the mask made them take over your body. Like, that's what I'm worried about. Because, like, literally, we hand you the mask, you say nothing, and you put it on. Like, that's sketch. Like, I thought maybe you were being controlled. But if, if you believe Saren Ray is the best, then I think you are truly yourself. Sometimes you just have to uh, 
You just have to have faith in, in your belief that will pull you through. <laughs> yeah, about that. I may there was not always be as a strong small, in faith. There was always a small part of my mind that thought that if I stared at the sun, it would permanently blind me, but I had to believe that my faith would let me do it. It's kind of like that. Okay, okay. That's that's good. I'm I'm glad you're feeling better. But yeah, out of character, like does that make sense? Like literally, we hand him the mask, he puts it on without saying anything. Like that sketches me. I out. don't know. Or he's like, I don't see what the big deal is. Yeah, he He'll just puts the, the mask well, he's on. He's probably and like takes it off and... looking at it for a moment, pausing as he hears the thing talking to him, and then like slowly like bringing it up to his yeah. face. And we'd be watching his expression. And, like, with a decent sense motive, we'd be able to tell if, like, he looks like he's acting sure. not yeah. under his own will. And, and yeah, that's that's why I asked him about I'm going to go back and thing. put the mask back on the mummy, okay. though. Okay. You don't want to But as far it? as I'm concerned, he has the same, like, determined, stern look that he usually does. I mean that that's worth yeah. a lot of gold, Raheem. I mean I I don't know. But if you think it's the no, right thing I, to do, that's okay. I'm just gonna put it back on the back on the uh It's not it's body. not the mask isn't magical, so I don't know why that did anything. I'll detect magic on the mask, actually, after you did that. You I don't mean, detect magic. Not everything okay. in in this world is uh not all strange Things are easily so easily explained. This is concerning. I have research to do. I I can't understand everything in the world. But I'm gonna try. I I want to try. <laughs> why do I? Okay, so after seeing what happened, do I have any knowledge as to why that happened? Like there's there's like are there any like uh stories or ancient stories of things like this happening wisp pop says no idea or any any history of funerary masks like suppressing so has he no tells idea. us that oh does he tell God. us that he can't this hear the voice anymore me. yeah he said that's yeah. all peaceful now so and he also feels as strong as he was Prior to well, in here. so this is the sarcophagus then of this person, and their spirit was in a statue. Perhaps we've laid them back to rest. Oh, yeah, I see in chat as well. I, I helped Nematep like close the tomb back up after we put the mask back. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll put, we'll put it back. We don't need to take. Okay. It. Yeah, no, I I agree. It seems it seems like the spirit came out of the statue, went into us, and now we're putting it back into their proper resting place. And even if that's not what's happening, it seems like what's happening, so we should do that. Sure. When it's all over, I'll tell you. I'll tell you but all now, about it. <laughs> now, now I'm, I'm thinking like I already have a mask on though. Does that mean I have to take it off? You haven't seen Wispop's actual face in a long time. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, go the mask. He, he just put the mask on top good. of the other mask. Do you sleep in that mask? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, his, I, I, your If I take it off, I have like... to wait 24 hours for it to come, like, work again. Yeah. I think, You know um, what your skin looks like I've when you put it in a like Darth Vader. for a long time and it gets really, like, white? <laughs> I've always ruled that when looking. it comes to, like, attunement items like that, you can take them off, like, while you're sleeping or whatnot, but you have to keep them in your possession. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know how <laughs> we rule that in this game. Yeah. I, we don't pay attention to it at all. That's how we rule it. Uh, cer <laughs> certainly, if we have a fight at night, I don't want to be like, "Oh, I need to take actions to put my mask on." Yeah, no, I hate like yeah. I hate nighttime encounters. I just do it when you guys are doing hex finder. But um, anyways, what next? Okay, well, <laughs> let's let's go to the room affecting me since I know which one it is. It's the oh. one with the squat. 
Squat. The squat. The uh, ugly warrior dude. Squat. Squat. I don't remember. Is that D or E? I don't remember which one it was. It's a Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> a squat oh. squatch. Hey, Sasquatch is my neighbor. Actually, he's probably uh, Secret's neighbor. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... You're more rural than I am. It's probably, probably your neighbor. Yeah, but... Like, to be honest, if there were any Sasquatches, it would be, like, more north of in Canada. Oh, okay. Just because we have a lot of trees What do you trees, call a monster with a here. massive attitude? <laughs> a Sasquatch. Oh, no. Okay, let Sasquatch me figure out which one that, that is. Next rest. The squat one is... This one. I want to say it was E. No, it's D. D, 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 D. Okay. What, what, what are we doing? Yeah, I think we should do that one next. Uh, what is the school of the spell, and what is the hmm. spell in place? You would ask that. Okay, one second. <laughs> did you did you not? Oh my god, my rolls are so low. I mean, you you don't have to tell if it's like a glyph again, and we can disable it. Evil really Kishon. Okay, this one's gonna blast, but Nimitep, I believe in you. Just don't mess up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just save it. Good job. Oh, what's going to happen when I don't succeed the will save? Uh... What you doing? Uh, you want to open the door? Raz, are you the, the door opener? Once Nematip says it is safe, I will open the door. No traps on this door. Okay. That looks clear. Then I open the door. It looks like a crypt. Uh, we go in. Uh, you hear a voice in your head, Wiz Pops, and it says, I know what you're trying to do. And I need you to roll, uh... Hmm. Ooh. Roll will save. Um, that's my good save. A 19? Okay. Hopefully uh, that's enough. Yeah. You feel like as you're like watching everybody move forward and you're kind of like starting to move forward, you feel like slowed down for a second, but you like will it away and you're fine. And he okay. grumbles at you and calls you punish. Punish old man. Perfect. And a couple of other not very nice things in Osirian. Yeah. Ancient Osirian, yeah. Uh, okay, Nimitep, you go into the room and you also um, see same thing. It's a uh, sarcophagus. Okay. If there are no traps, I will open it up and take a look inside. Okay, you do. And you see the same thing. I'm a mummified corpse in there uh, with a mask. Then we'll repeat the process.
taking the mask and giving it to the afflicted. Okay, Nimitep's holding out the mask to... Yeah, I'll come in and put it on. I'll, I'll hold it, I'll put it on, like, over the mask I have and see what, what happens. Okay, uh, Wispop says you, like, grab the mask, um, the voice in your head is telling you, Ah, oh, keep that away! Don't touch that! Um, and you hold it up to the mask and it doesn't do anything. He, he, he laughs at you. He's like, <laughs> you dumb wizard. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pull the mask up. Um, wear it like a hat. Yeah. I'll take off the mask that I've worn forever. And, uh, put this one on. Okay, uh, roll me a will save. Hey, good save, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel this like force of personality, like it's trying to like prevent you from doing what you're doing. Um, but you will it away, and you put the mask on, and it just seems to go away. And you feel your con coming back, the negative levels going away. You're oh, you're thank feeling God. a lot of relief. Okay, back up to 114 HP, plus 24 temp. Oh, good. Okay, um, I'll put the other mask back on. I'll, I'll turn to the park and say, I, I am still the same man I was before with or without this mask. Though it, it is quite powerful, so I'll be putting it back on. But I want to assure the party that I have be I have not turned evil. I, I have repented my more evil ways I was falling towards. And I've been I've been a good neutral wizard, I think. The fact that he's giving lot, a like, speech four or five should sessions. be questionable. I was just say, <laughs> greeting fellow humanoids <laughs> like me. Pops. I, I, I just hope so. Okay. Well, it's, it's, tomb, it's been so long since we've had a face-to-face -face conversation that I wanted, I wanted to, like, kind of assure, reassure you guys. And hey guys, have, like, a face -to -face still me with pops under here and underneath here. <laughs> exactly. <That's, laughs> like my face, my face isn't all like evil looking or contorted. I don't have like it's like very you know, it's white, pale. pink. Like it probably is sure, yeah, pale. Think I think these but... attacks have left you. Uh... Uh, scarred and disfigured. Mm. Wiz Pops, do you know that fight before? Wiz Pops, what that fight? fight before would have been a lot easier if you had just prepared flame, Flaming Sphere. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. They would have saved, and then they would have not taken any damage. Yeah, their reflex Rastak save Rastak holds high. up his thumb and says, it's okay guys, he checks out. Okay. That's Wiz Pops. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> he doesn't want playing sphere. Okay, you you should take fleeting spell. <laughs> That's out of character though. But yeah. <laughs> Who else has okay. yeah. Head? As soon as Wiz Pops starts complaining about now, spell choices and defending, like no, it, it wouldn't have mattered. Like yeah, it's Wiz Pops. <laughs> I'm I'm so me, guys. Okay, what's next? I, I put the mask in, close up the sarcophagus like the other one, and uh, move on to the next. Okay. Which one? Um, which of these guys looks scholarly, like a wizard? Uh, the old guy looked like a wizard. Okay, let's try that one then. I forget which letter. That was. one was the elderly Assyrian e or man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And don't forget to yeah check the door. I imagine there's something bad on each of these things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna make secret look up all the spells and all that. Evocation. Um. um ooh. Or she already did. You what you you uh you see the trap. You disable okay. the trap. Yay! Yay! Open the door and take a look inside. Um. So this is C. So we're doing C. Oh, it curves. I'll Nematep checks inside and then I'll walk inside and take point. It's a crypt with the sarcophagus. Okay, uh, the same procedure. Traps, open it up. Oh, okay. Before you do that, um, I have a question. Yeah. Your natural armor and feather step. What are those? The source. What are they from? Um, I believe they're spell-like abilities. Yeah, they're from Nematep. Spell-like ability. Yeah. Okay. They're, uh, from my monk abilities, yeah. Uh, so they have a... A cast... They have a... They have an effective cast level equal to her they hit dice. They are spellable, yes. Yes, and what would that number be? Um, uh, my monk level is 10. Four, so, uh, cast 10, level yeah. 10. So you're... Okay. Um, <clears throat> you can feel your natural armor go away. And he laughs. <laughs> okay. Got it. He's like one of those hackers that like streams to all of his fans like as he does his stupid <laughs> shit. Enjoy your victory. So like whatever he... But he's an old yeah. man. <laughs> He's an old man who likes yelling poggers and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, and Nimitep, like, when you, like, grab the mask, um, you feel this force of personality. Um, go ahead and roll a will save. Uh-oh, it's gonna happen. What? Someone's gonna fail their will save. Yeah, well, it's it's me, right? Rollers are <laughs> terrible for me. I get I get ready to, like... To like grab her if she starts acting funny. There we go. Oh jeez. <laughs> I was never gonna make this will save. More like won't save. Unless it's really low. But this sounds almost like a ego check. More you else. But anyway. meet? I think it is. <laughs> you meet. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do what you want. Okay. I will put the mask on. You do. You put the mask on, and um, you feel enlightened. Then I will put the mask into the sarcophagus and seal it away. Yes, that's exactly it. I got to choose one uh. item from you guys to install an ego. So you weren't, you weren't, if they weren't spirits, <laughs> but there were a way to, to identify them as constructs, technically. Not too bad we didn't find the items that okay. they had, like, possessed yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you guys whatever. didn't go through any of that. Yeah, you guys didn't try to yeah, go through that's any fine. of that. We could just torture the weapons or the items. Yeah, you can, yeah. Um, but their egos aren't that strong, so they didn't really try to force it upon you until you guys, like, threatened their livelihood by putting these masks on, so. But yeah, their egos are kind of low. Uh, so that, that clears up everybody, right? Yeah. That it does. Okay. And for all intensive purposes, this was a haunting. So if you had, like, done, like, identifying yeah, haunting type stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what we have... suspected. Yeah. At the end of last session, but then we didn't do anything mm -hmm. with it this session. 
Yeah, you guys were talking about like wanting to divine and stuff and ask those questions. We just didn't. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I guess we should do the rest though, too. But Actually, well, do well, I don't know. Them. Maybe, maybe they're fine. Yeah. Maybe there's nothing. I think. Yeah, I think there's. To do. I don't think there's we killed. We actually there's, like, killed fear. the other one. Yeah, so we can't put him to rest. That's unfortunate. Right, I guess. we already did. No, we already did. Yeah, you already. Oh, by yeah. killing him. I put him to rest with Ghost Chopper. Mhm. Mm okay. 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 So if the haunt had no way of possibly haunting anybody, in other words, you all made your saves or you're already haunted, it forms out um, a specter. Um, that's why it happened with Raz, because oh, Raz was the only some, person yeah. down there, so it didn't think it had anybody else, so it, like, popped out. Yeah, um, it all makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, it's quite interesting. It was unique. Um, something that, like, most players, even seasoned players, would not have, like, easily figured out. Yep. Cool. So, um, um, we have like. But why, why the 10 minutes, doors? That's so... what we haven't figured out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're probably going to do the other half of the, the dungeon today. Like, that'll probably be for next session. And we decide then, I'll decide next session as well if we want to, like, rest before we go over there or something. Or I kind of want to, honestly. Like, I have yeah, my you staff. Always, you I always want to rest. Spells. Wiz Pops but... loves sleeping. Or at least, I guess now that I don't have a voice in my head, it can at least prepare some for a fourth and fifth level spell that would be good against like swarms and golems. Yeah, we already fought swarms and golems, though. I makes you think we're gonna fight them again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> the fact that it's mummy's that mask. That could have been it. Could be just undead from here on out. Like, it could be maybe this one's gotten undead and this one's got like a demon or something. It's possible. It's possible. You're very hopeful. I just think it'll be funny when you prepare something that's good against like swarms and golems and then we don't fight any more of them. Oh, sure. I mean, that's going to happen. Uh, so how about you guys give me a clue of what path you want to go next, and then we'll call session. Uh... Jeez, well, I, we gotta go to the right part now. Or we if gotta... you want to prepare spells, um, and... Well, I'll wait for Wispop yeah, to prepare go here. spells, and then we'll go up. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the 15. We'll spend the 15 minutes At least to that, prepare yeah. some spells, okay. and then... Um, but then, yeah, we'll probably, pro it looks like we, people are pointing to this one, so that's probably the one we're going to go to first. Okay, uh, then yeah, we'll, um, start next session with Wispops having the spells prepared, um, and you guys checking out the door and whatnot. Okay. Progress. Yeah. Progress. All right. Yep, sounds good. Well, uh, I gotta get going here. Uh, I may be on later tonight, but um, yeah, you guys have a happy fourth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah thank you. You too. Don't blow off your hand or anything with fireworks. No. If you're doing fireworks. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was an NFL player that did that. Like lost like two fingers from firework accident. Oh, jeez. Um, fireworks are banned in, in my city anyway. They're banned They're here, dangerous? too, yeah. I used to have a school yeah. friend. Her dad illegally made illegal fireworks, and half of their house blew up. Insurance wouldn't like cover fireworks. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was his own fault, so that makes yeah. sense. That... So, careful, man. Yeah. You blew up your house. Yeah, especially with bootleg ones, jeez. <laughs> okay, I will see, talk to everybody next week. Great, bye. Bye.